Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, but not today. <laughs> not today. We're going to be playing some old ones. Really old. Really old. From Nine. 40 years ago. 40 years ago. 1982. Uh, we're going to be playing the part three of 1982. Okay. okay. So this will be all the games leading up to the Christmas nice. season. Nice. So okay. It's actually a really good batch of games. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You were, you Pulling mentioned a few last stops. time. I was like, oh, it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Including, uh, Gorf, Wizard of War, Vanguard, River Raid, Dragonfire, um, mm. Turmoil, uh, Amadar, uh, and a whole bunch of other ones. Mm. Uh, 37 games today, so get ready. Um, yeah, uh, Esther Mirrors mentioned Dragonfire, River Raid, and Turmoil, Turmoil. there. Turmoil, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I have a lot of the cards, actually. You do, I, you, that, more than any of that, the other ones that we've list, done. Uh, that pile on the rights for something else. But, Is it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers and, of course, everybody in the chat tonight. But the Twitch subscribers, scrolling beside Tanya, mm -hmm. ooh, vicious. Vicious black <laughs> cat here. Uh, are Alan the Fur, Arkham H, Arms Guard Code, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari HB, or Polka, Bug Owens, Burr Lives, Captain Night 2D, Carl's, Madruga, Charles and Chuck, Charles Wynn, Coconut 81, Colonel Lambo, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Daryl 1970, Dark Sol, Dr. Moo, Cows, Great Defender, Gr Trooper, Oja Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Kabuto JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings Invader, Kev Kelly, Lauren TDZ, Mark Keanis, Mark Space Inc., Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zernu, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packer, VG Coog, Arsan Schwitz, RC7E, Rendered Ghost, Repentless V, Ricardo Pen, Card, Castler, Six Sweet, Spinny B, Spicer, The D Turn, The Welsh Man, T, Dan K, Trium, Events, Tech, Trek, MDX, Ken X, and S. Ramirez, resubscribed just before the show. Angry Cats. Angry Cats. It's a lot cooler here today. Oh. Than last time. So much better. It's actually 24 raining. 24 degrees. It's raining outside. It's normal. You don't in need here. any fans on. There's no white noise in the no. background today. No, no. Nice so, cool air coming in. Thank you. Very guys. happy. If you don't yeah. see your name on the list, just hit subscribe. Yeah. And uh, your name will be read on the Yay. list next time. Uh, it's free if you have Amazon Prime and not free if you don't. <laughs> um, so, YouTube comment from the last stream Airlock by Data Age got a bum rap. You are on the hard level of difficulty, which gives little to no room for error. Mm, That's why that we had would like. explain why we're zero. like, what, what the, the hell is And going you kept on? jumping when you got in the elevator. You need to stop jumping and touch the far side to activate it. Uh, you, have, you have until it counts down 10 ticks to collect both keys on each level before you drown. Mm. So we were doing it wrong and we were on the hard level. So both, both of those things add up to difficulty. Five minutes of not playing a game is basically. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Uh, but he adds at the end, uh, Larry VGS says, very little replay value once you've mastered it. Yeah. So it's actually not a good game anyway, but we were playing it on hard. Fair enough. And uh, we also accidentally played uh, Sword Quest Fire World instead of Sword Quest Earth World. Oh, really? We had to, we that had to, makes sense. It we had was to all play it anyway. Tones. Yeah. We had to play it anyway, so yeah. we got out of the way early. So we're going to start the game. Start today with Sword Quest Earth Earthworld, World. which is also a terrible game, <laughs> but it's actually somewhat playable for me. I find okay more playable than the other one. The other ones was like catch all the things. That's impossible. It was yeah. too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so those are the two things from last time. So we're going to start uh, with Swordcrest Earthworld. Okay. Uh, so if you don't, if this is your first time tuning in, we give five minutes per game, whether we're terrible or awesome or we want to keep playing it. We have five minutes. The yep. deeper goes off, we go to the next one because we, we have about 450 games to get through. If we can't figure it out in five minutes, it's a crappy game. We're moving on. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's going to be the conclusion. <laughs> um, so some of these we're going to be bad at. Some of them we're not going to know the full instructions. Yeah. We're just playing them for fun. Yeah. We just want to show them off and get through them and play them for fun. Yeah. And some of them we're going to have a lot of fun with. Yep. Some of them we're like, I don't know. Um, this is terrible. <laughs> we'll, we'll take instructions from the audience, though. Yes. If anyone knows how to play it, and we don't. But so. Some of the standouts that are going to be challenging, Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's actually a puzzle adventure game. It's more and complex. And you really need to know what you're doing. Yeah, that might I've be read hard. up a little bit, but... Yeah. Well, I'll read while we play, but good luck to us. Okay, fair enough. Um, E.T., we can put it on easy mode. And um, play it that way so we don't have to get killed all the time. Yeah. Um, 
those are most of the difficult ones. We have two paddle games. Mm -hmm. And also, there's some adult games that we're going to be playing tonight. What? We're not going to be showing them, <laughs> but we will be playing them. You'll hear them. Yeah. And are they will... okay to be heard? Oh, yeah. There's nothing. There's beeps and boops and <laughs> uh, there's nothing to know. Uh, we will uh, blandly describe them as well. Blandly describe them. <laughs> that sounds like fun. So we'll, we'll get to those. Those are in the middle <laughs> or later on. Fair but enough. first of all, Sword Quest Earthworld. <laughs> Let's get it up on the screen. Looking uh, forward to these adult games. Uh, no. No? They're not, they're not good. <laughs> Fair so enough. There's Sword Quest Earthworld. <laughs> is part of a contest people have won the contest Ooh. very nice title screen very nice title they kind of just phoned it in with the second game because this one actually has okay games uh so yeah i really like that sword a full yeah, wide screen of the sword <clears throat> nice. oh i haven't started the timer but that's okay go for it all right oh so, uh, there's things to collect in certain rooms, so you have to go through the opening. Oh, I see. Certain collect things to collect in each room, and then you have ah, to place them oh in gosh. certain rooms, and, you know, and it gets harder and faster each time you go through it. Oh, gosh. Uh, this structure is pretty much like walking up to an unfamiliar arcade cabinet, dropping in a quarter without even watching the attract mode. Yep. Some of them we've played before. Some of them I've played a lot. So, Sword Quest Earthworld, October 17th, 1982. Uh, oh, moving. did you crash? No, it's moving. I didn't realize it was moving. Oh, left and right? Oh, yeah, slightly. I'm guessing oh, oh, it no. gets moves more as time goes on. Oh, gosh. Uh, this is made by Dan Hitchens uh, and Mimi Niden. I mean, it's pretty oh cool on its own. It's it. This could be a really good game. It's yeah. a collection of mini games, but I find them really hard they are because really it's hard. part of a contest. Ugh. They wanted to make it super hard, right? So it only one one person could win it. Oh, uh, your foot so got zapped. So hard. Because the wider it is, the less time you have to get through it as well. And the faster it moves, the less time you have to get through it, too. Oh, you have to be right up against it. I think you can move on a diagonal, too. Can you? So that might help. Oh, yeah, can you? you can't be at the top. You want to move to where you have the most space. Yeah. Time to time yourself. I guess this is all we'll see. Oh, uh, gosh. I think you can press the button to get out. There are different, yeah. ones, different games. I will go in different rooms. Just... Nope, nope, can't get out there. <laughs> Is so it's in this room. You can get a ring and don't bother with those. We don't have the instructions, we don't have how to play it. Nope, can't go that way. Do you have the comic book? I think I have some. I have one or the other comic book. Okay, you got a thing, and another thing. <laughs> it's being very weird. Very slow. Nope. Huh. Like all sword quests, you need the comic book, yeah. There, I like this one. You have to, it's like freeway. Oh my gosh. Uh, does it matter? Oh, I see. Hey! Now you can get the things that you earned. You're all full, so you have to drop something. Just don't bother with this. It's it's not something that is going to be relevant to these mini games that we're going to show. I feel like I need the key. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe you can't go left and right without the key. There you go. What is that? A mermaid. I think, I think it's a mermaid. Way too cryptic. It's a really cryptic puzzler. Yeah, it is. It's a goat. It's pretty good graphics for small. Decent. You can kind of figure it out. Okay, what's going on here? Invisible ones. That's great. How are you supposed to win that? Just keep pressing up, I guess. Oh, so close. Yeah, 
playing this. <gasps> it's a hint. It's comic book page 16, word four. <laughs> We're not going to play it. We're not going to get look up the comic book online or anything. We, we don't have time. We have less, less than a minute left. Oh, whatever. It's a scorpion. There's likely an item that will let you see the obstacles. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Probably the, the candle that I got rid of. That's probably it. The key can get you left and right, maybe? Maybe. Earth world rooms are based on the Zodiac. Uh, this needs a full After Dark show. Yeah, it would. It's like Raiders of the Lost Ark would need one as well. I mean, it's a good concept, but if it was actually a game and not a uh, contest, it might be a good one. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, oh your it's head so got tight. So tight. Can you move in a diagonal? Or is it only All up right, and we're down? Done. <laughs> can you move in a diagonal? Or is it only left and Yeah, you can. So that gives you a bit more time if you run with it. Next one is Wabbit. Not Rabbit. Wabbit. I do not have the cartridge for this. What item helps on that stage? Good question. Yeah. Anything? Maybe. What is this? Wabbit? Wabbit. Wabbit. Made by Apollo. Uh, made by Ban Tran. What so, what is going on here? You shoot the rabbits. See if you can start with the button. Shoot the rabbits, they're stealing your carrots. Oh my god, the garden oh. is getting destroyed. Oh my goodness. Dead rabbit. Do you want to shoot them before they get the carrots? It's really hard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they're naughty rabbits. Uh, Released on October 22nd, 1982. Does that mean today is Wabbit season? Definitely. I don't think we're playing any duck games, so it's definitely Wabbit season. Protect those last ones. No, you got it. You have yeah. to be before it. Get in the middle of the no. screen. Get in the middle. You're too close to that carrot. There you go. He's the last rabbit. Getting points, but there's zero left. I think that's it. No? Oh, I think they've steal all your carrots. There you go. Do they? Duck season. <laughs> How long does this go on for? <laughs> Till you give up. That's actually a really good sun in the corner. It's got a lot of uh, rays you, coming you out of it. Distracting me with the sun. <laughs> I, had, I, I had a pattern going. Uh. Uh. It's cute. More bu bunnies. Oh my gosh, they're even faster. Stop it. More carrots. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's the number is how many they're stealing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Three, four. Oh around. goodness, that was terrible. That's weird. Four, five, six, They're seven, so eight. They're so fast. <laughs> How do you die? It just I keeps going. It doesn't even say uh, like you're on stage three or anything. There's no lives. There's just play till the carrots run out. Nostalgic says, I like the pseudo 3D perspective in the play field. Yeah, it does work really well. Everything goes to a... Uh, Oh. What is that called? Infinity point? Is that what it's called? For perspective? They just get faster. Do you just play it through the whole way and it's just total but, score, I guess? I guess so, yeah. The main sprite is well done. Vanishing <laughs> point, not, yeah, not infinity awful. point. Close. I guess they're very hard to hit. <laughs> Those are fast rabbits. They're really hungry. Oh my god. It's going to be even faster? Oh my god. Look at them go. Maybe you have to do a minimum to get to the next level, like a minimum number of rabbits. I don't know. I've gotten barely any, so I would be surprised by that. Oh, I don't get this reference. I imagine you're playing as Mrs. Harriet Olson. Do you know that reference? Nope. Ugh. It's very hard. 50, 62, 63. Hmm. Oh, you got two of them there. Good job. 
You can't pull your shots, which is annoying. No, you have to wait till it comes off the, so you off miss. the screen. It's like, ah! Your, uh, I think I said this before, your shots are quantum entangled. Oh, gosh. So, my brain. Your shot that you have in your hand for the next one is connected to the shot that yeah. you just shot. <laughs> yes, you're exactly right. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's like no point. <laughs> Oh, 100. they're a hundred, so it goes so you goes till they get a hundred of your carrots. Ah, uh, well, there's the forty-four shot? seconds oh. left, so. All right. Might as well just play it out. What is Mrs. Harriet Olson from Cafe Mantuti? Is, is it, it Peter Rabbit? Could no. Could be Peter Rabbit. Next one is the Challenge of Nexar. This one's from Apollo. Next one's from Spectrovision. And I have a bunch of Spectrovision games, so I do have this one on cartridge. 14. 13. Little House in the Prairie. Oh, Olsen, yeah. Harriet Olsen? She the grumpy one? I don't know. <laughs> I never watch watched that show. That show. I, oh. I actually didn't really like it. <laughs> I was one of... Oh, they My get faster. Oh, I bet she did. And this is the challenge of Nexar. Very cool cartridges. We're rounded at the top. Olsen, but last and pray they kind of resemble. Hmm. Okay. Try the button. Okay. okay. Your crosshairs are also you, so don't crash into these guys. Oh. What? Oh, I see. You shoot them, but it's also you. Oh my gosh. And they leave debris, so don't crash into that either. I like the lines. Cool perspective. Is there an up? Can you? Oh, you can go up. Yeah, so you can shoot the guys at the top. Seems the score is based on the remaining carrots. The remaining carrots? They get all the carrots, though. No, they they get a hundred. Do I have to get that? I think you might have to go in that. Go in it? Yeah, try it. Nope. nope. Lies. <laughs> All lies. Lies. A bunch of lies. Hi. How are you? This is neat. Yeah. The colors are cool. Perspective is cool. Oh. Oh my God. No, what it the? It froze me there. Oh, I guess you. I guess you do have to. You probably have to get them. Oh, sorry. We so start with three lives. Three and three. Yeah. Not sure what the other three is. Whoa. I think you have to get that. Yeah. Like shoot it? I think you do. You you, might... Did you miss it? And that's I why? missed it and then I froze, so... Because they go a lot slower, so I think you might have to shoot them. Yeah, they might be one that if they hit you, you, you lose a life or something. And everything else is just bonus not dudes. Bad. Yeah. A little one note, but uh, maybe there's other levels we just haven't got to it. Yeah. Let's count. Oh, the time. It freezes your time when you hit those boxes. Oh, it okay. It seems to freeze your time. So you get bonus. Oh my god. 93. Oh, nope, that nope. didn't. The other one. Oh, maybe it was just at the end. Yeah, it might have been at the end. Oh, you have rapid fire. That's probably better. Oh, man. Because then I can accidentally get them. Rapid fire is good for uh, accidentally getting things. Nice. Next are three. It's not good if you have to recall your shots. Uh, Vitoko said you scored 10 points per rabbit when there were more than half of the total carrots. When there were less, you scored 5 points. You get oh, less. Oh, okay. Shooting a box adds to your time. It did seem to that one time. It looks like the great granddaddy of Space Harrier, says Colonel Lama. Yeah, it's got a 3D perspective. It's got things that are actually. The UFOs go away sometimes, mm. too, which is very unique. And your crosshairs are free-moving. Like, you can move them anywhere in the screen. But they also represent you. Those are going faster. Oh, God. What? Okay. Oh, I did lose a life. No, I didn't. What is happening? So they just give you extra time, then. Seems like it. Yeah, it's pretty one note. <laughs> I'm sure they get harder, but... Really good games, I find, have 
like a second level, at least one extra like change level or change. Yeah, like I just know what even you mean. a change. It doesn't even have to be a change of the scene. Mm -hmm. Just a change of what you're doing. Like this could have something that is like a boss that flies around the screen that takes 10 shots mm. and moves faster and like shoots some things out at you. So five. I mean, it's not the worst shooter mm. in the world. It's, it's very visually good. Just not a lot happening. No. <laughs> What the boxes do. They don't penalize me mm. when it goes off the screen. Did give time? I guess time for points is good. You get more points, get more points on an easier level. You don't want to get the points on a harder level. Here you go. Oh, level six. Very mm. good. The next one is Final Approach by Apollo, which I don't have. I like that one. Thumbs up. <laughs> Accepted. I, I mean, for visuals. A little simple, but it's it, it was fun. Yep. So, sorry, which one was it again? <clears throat> Final Approach, October 23rd, 1982 by Apollo, AP 2009. Don't know who made it. Okay. David Lubar made the last one. This is actually kind of cool. I'll show you okay. how to play. If you know how to it's, play this. It's uh, not straightforward. So you are a traffic air traffic controller. Air traffic controller? Yep. And you direct the planes. You don't want them to crash into each other. That one's fine for now. And you want them to you press the button and you want them to land. So you get them there. Oh, God, I have to let go of it. So you go down to this middle dot. You have to watch. Okay, now he's on. Oh, oh my don't goodness! Think he's quite on there. I think you should play this one. <laughs> okay. You seem to know the. Wow. Not too late. Psst, psst. Can what you stop you that doing? cat from destroying the couch? It's being very bad. <clears throat> as long as they don't crash into each other, I think. Whoa, that was close. That was very. I don't even close. know how I'd prevent that, even if they did crash. Okay. There we go. Oh nope nope nope. Did I do it? Yeah. Nope, I did not. What? That looked really good. No, it wasn't good Charles enough. Charles Wheatland. This one is complicated. Yep. It's good though. Oh, those guys are going to Air crash. traffic controller. Around. That is hilarious. You turn around. Oh, you're on collision courses. Why are you doing that on purpose? Okay. Then when it gets to the yellow, you go down to the middle dot, press it. There we go. To line up your plane. It's not lined up? Nope. No? How is it's it not hard. lined up? You have to do it perfectly lined up on both axes. If I can do it coming in the opposite way. No. Nope. It's good once you get the hang of it, Charles. Yeah, yeah, I was practicing it earlier. Now, I was able to land a couple planes. It's not easy. Okay. Around right now, give me a bit of time to go down to the bottom and okay. There. You have to put your nose on the white. Did it. Yay! Yay. Woot. Okay, blue. Oh. Pff. Oh no. How is that even fair? You came on the screen in like one second. Oh oh oh. Down 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 down. Did I make it? Yep. Reminds me of Kennedy approach on the Commodore 64, says Atari 2600. Yes. Very, very similar. So you kind of have to put them in holding patterns. They just kind of drift around, too. <laughs> they do. They don't really want to land too much. There we go. Oh. Might be good enough. Yep. Okay, green. Do the left and right buttons do anything? Uh, not that I read in the manual, but I only read a little bit. Just enough to land the planes. 
Love the radio at the bottom of the screen. What a nice touch. It is, yeah. Okay, I think I got the hang of it. Let's try the other buttons. Oh. It's just do the they all thing. do it? Oh my god. Come on, people. Ah! Uh, and it's game over. <laughs> I don't know what your controls were, like what oh, you were doing there. Oh, just up, down, left, right for... There you go. You probably won't get enough time to get a plane there, but maybe. How there. do you turn it around? You just click on it, and then you're controlling it. There you go. That blue one is going to crash into the green one. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Major airline crash. It was three planes. Hundreds dead. Hundreds dead. Hundreds Sorry. Dead. And now go down. Get to the button. There you go. Press it. Where is it? Now press down, and you need to line up the bottom one, part two. Nope. Maybe. Don't think so. No. Though. Then you press the button. Nope. It's like, nope! Uh, Take it off again! Uh, no! <laughs> oh. Okay. Next one is tapeworm. Very unique. Tapeworm? Ugh. That doesn't Yummy. sound like a fun game. By SpectraVision. Very nice logo. <laughs> it's slinky. slinky. Spanky. Slinky and spanky. <laughs> Who else? It's Beaky. Beaky. <laughs> cool. Nice beetle. Mm -hmm. Graphics. And Slinky again. Okay, press the button. Or not. So far we've been lucky. It's all been... Okay, so collect the things. Avoid the other things. I think that's how you do it. Oh, you got your apple. You got so my you apple. you have to do, get them all before the little thing gets your apple. And no! you have to avoid the things coming down and going across. No, Get what quick. is it doing? Turn! So this one's by oh SpectraVision, gosh. October Turn. 23rd, 1982, SA204. And nobody is taking credit for making this game. <clears throat> Poor Beetle didn't get a unique name. Beetle is just Beetle. Beetle's just Beetle. Just in time. Guess you are Slinky. Because you've got three Slinkies at the bottom. Oh boy. That's a long one to get. I'm guessing they give you enough time to get anything on the screen. I don't know. It's weird how some are spectra video and some are spectra vision. Yeah, it's very strange. Like, if you wanted to collect all the cartridges for the Atari 2600, it's it's near impossible. Oh, maybe I have to get that at the top. Do I? Oh, yeah, I guess it's a bonus. Hi. Oh, two in a row. Very nice. Now get that at the bottom. I don't know if I can. No. Not enough time. You might be able to um, go along the tops and bottom. Whoa, close. Hi, kitties. Don't start biting me. Down. No. Oh. Lies. Maybe you have to do it exactly. I don't know. Cute. Do you want to play? Yep. It's very cute. I like it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, my God. It's a, a good twist on uh, Snake. It is, actually. Because you're not just dealing with your own tail. Yeah, and getting the, the things. There's you things have to going avoid across the screen. Uh, the insects and monsters. Snake with obstacles and enemies. Yep, yeah. exactly. Oh, why do I turn before I know what's going on? Yorgi's Castle says I used to play this for hours. I also like the sandbox mode. Okay. You gotta get Bad out of cat. here. He's going for the HDMI. Nope, 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 nope. No! He's like, you better feed me treats. I want treats. Okay. Oh. oh! Oh! demanding. What do you 
want? I want to ring a bell. I want to get some treats. No, not no. until someone gives up the bits. <laughs> No. Don't look at me. It's not up to us. I don't control it. <laughs> Nokia approved. Yeah, Nokia three, approved. Yeah. Three, five, oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that black cat, I didn't even know where he was. He was under... Oh my god, I got distracted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, kitties. Get, okay, get okay, okay. Okay. You begged your way into it, Atari. Not good to give in to that cat. Of course, he was starting to act out. Yes. Okay, one for you. One for you. We'll let James play his game. Yeah. 30 seconds more. 22 seconds more, kittens. Don't you worry. Did you ring a bell? There you go. There's one for you. There's Did one he? for you. Yeah, someone rang, rang one. someone rang one. Someone rang a bell. <laughs> it's a one pretty... for you. Good. Thank you, Beer Pocock! Who's trained whom? Good question. Well, Atari has trained us now. Okay, now we can look at the kitties. Yes, good kitty. <clears throat> good black kitty, there you go. Good kitty. <laughs> Uh, so tapeworm, yeah, I read all that out. Next one is cross force, but not till the kitties get their fill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, good boy. I can show it on the screen though, because it's on large mode. Oh, nice. Cross force. Hold on, let me get you a few more. If they're not in my hand, it's like smack, smack. Yeah, there you go. Ring your bell! Ring your bell! Atari! This one! Ring it! That gives me time to get this working. For you. Atari! There we go. Good kitty! Yes, <laughs> yes, yes! Is yes, that him? yes, yeah, it was Atari. Oh my goodness. Why is it so blurry? I don't know. Blurry cat. There we go. Nobody wants blurry cats. Good kitty. It's there. Oh, yes. We'll get to those Zellers carts. We'll see. Blurry treat time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, B.R. Pocock, yes, for feeding, thank you. feeding these kitties. Yeah. Two more. There's two more. One each. Good gray cat. Black kitty. Sprite. Smack it. He's looking bigger. He is. He's looking fluffier in the face now. <gasps> Atari got... I don't know. I don't oh. know. Oh, there, there go. you go. There's one for you. There's a little scrap for you. <laughs> a little scrap a little for you. scrap. Good Yay. kitties. All right. What's next? Cross force. Cross force. Oh, my goodness. This looks complex. Okay. Ready? What am I doing? Shoot the things. Oh. Okay, you your laser can overheat. That's the bottom bar. Ah! And you have fuel. So shoot all the little balls. And I'll tell you what... And there's fuel that comes on the screen. It's like a red thing. Okay. That's it? Yep, get that for fuel. Oh no! Oops. Oh, instead I was of paying fuel, attention. you died. Oh no! I don't know what that's for. It just kind of comes on the screen. Just oh, it's dropping you? off stuff. That's what it's doing. Every time it goes across, it drops something off. Our cats have figured out that there are cats in the TV, but not yet how to free them. <laughs> <laughs> Sprite does watch cats on TV. He watches himself on TV. Yeah. Well, they hear the bell. Well, oh we'll... my god, we can't watch the shows back no. when, during the bell time. We cut. Oh yeah, get that. Get it. <gasps> You're almost out of fuel. I don't know how to get it. Ah! Got it. Did I get it? Uh, I don't think so. Oh no! I think it ran, ran away. Oh. Out of fuel. Wow, interesting. Very interesting. Lots going on. Reminds me of Spider Fighter a bit, except not as good as Spider Fighter. That's like one of the best 
best shooters ever on the 2600. <gasps> Got me. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna come right back. Okay. There is a variation of this game where the laser is just straight up and down, which makes it easier. So variation number two. Oh, come on, gimme, come on. Yay, oh my god. Then I ran right into it. Just gave me full fuel again. Oh, it's so weird, because the top one is backwards. You have to look out for shots on the top and the bottom. Oh my god, it's so hard. Did you read Yorgi's Castle about uh, when my cats are playing. bonkers? I turn on the YouTube videos with the birds and the squirrels. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. Does that calm them down or make them crazier? Because I would think cats would go nuts. We Our used cats to, would attack the screen. Yeah, we. In um, there's a company called Telus that does all kinds of things, cell phone service and different things. Data. Data, TV. Damn it. But oh they had this string of commercials. I'm not sure they may still have them. I haven't watched watch. TV in a long time. But it was always a white TV. background with like animals, you know, running across the screen. And they had one and it was hummingbirds. And um, I think it was uh, Pixel. Was it Pixel? Rogue. It was Rogue. Uh, our old cat, you never met Rogue used to, from across the room, the, the ad would come on, we would have to jump up from the couch and dive bomb the screen because she would run and, off. and attack the screen, like jump straight, oh you did, jump straight at the screen. Like smack the screen. Smack the screen. We'd have to like intercept the cat as it ran towards the hummingbirds yeah. flying across. It was very, yeah. very funny, but kind of scary because we were so scared she would hurt herself. Or drop the TV on herself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. But it was just so realistic, that hummingbird flying across the screen. Oh, I can't get it. Doing better. A friend's dog barks at Mr. Ed, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, interesting game. Mm. The controls are very interesting. Uh, the second, it's not terrible. The second version is a lot easier because you is just it? go left and right, and and you don't do this diagonal thing. Yeah, the diagonal thing. Um... So I'll show you that one. Okay. Oh, like this. Oh, yeah, that's a little better because mode. you can't, well, you can't get all the corners when when you're going back and that forth very easily. So Still messing up. there's definitely some places where you have to wait for them to come to you. If, in the, if they're in the middle on the edges, you can't get them at all. Nope. No. All right. So, uh, cool shooter. Yeah. Uh, next one is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Good luck to us. So you said this is like a puzzle adventure game. Yes. The action control with a uh, second joystick. What weirdos. I know. <laughs> Why they did that, I don't know. So you press the button to start. You still listening? Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I doing? So avoid the snake. Because Indy doesn't like snakes. Of course he doesn't like snakes. But it's I... made by Howard Scott Warshaw. Get the whip. See, I can control what you have. So now you're using the whip. Which is also a dot. Oh, gosh. You can shoot it, but it just comes right back. Oh, okay. Then what? So you go down. I, I don't know if you can go back up. Actually, go up and go further up. <gasps> nope. Okay. Only down. Uh, oh. so One side. you can go in those baskets and pick up uh, what seems like a grenade and go to the other two baskets. Ah. No. Or, oh, you can't walk across. Yeah. Gun. And you got a gun key. and a key. Um, so I would stay on the right and the left. That's where you can see. Don't go down. 
No. So now you are in the marketplace. Marketplace is a center of activity in Egypt. So you have to find three baskets, each containing a certain object or a number of objects. At the top of the marketplace is the black sheik who sells magic flutes. Mm. At the bottom is the white sheik who sells parachutes. It is whispered that the black sheik will take you to the black market for the right price. So, uh, what can we give to that person? Oh. The gun? The grenade? They certainly didn't like that. Maybe the key? Nope. <laughs> Maybe the grenade. Oh. oh. Okay, try the grenade. Oh, they're fine with that. Press the button. Move out of the way. Ah. To watch out for the snake. You can't kinda came came across fast. Hope oh, dead. Snake gotcha. Oh my goodness. Okay. Try again. That's the Ark of the Covenant at the top. Okay, so get the stuff in the baskets again. So the snake can hide in the middle, so don't stand in the middle. Stand far away from the middle. So let me change it. Oh, maybe he likes the basket. Just press the button. Hmm. You can change it, right? Yep. What do you want me to change it to? I thought you wanted... I thought the uh, grenade was working. Okay, let's try that. Okay, move out. I think the snake got you. You have to wait for the snake to be on the screen so you know where it is. Get get off that person. I can't. And wait for the snake to appear on the screen. Now you know where it is. Oh. oh no, he's already taken it. Try the basket. Anything? No. Oh, kittens. You didn't lock the kitten in the room? Did you go in the room? No. Hmm. Try the grenade on the top right of the first screen. Oh, okay. I, think well, I don't have, to have the grenade over. anymore. Oh, the kid's just crying. I saw him run past. Gun, key. There, now go up to the first screen. Wait for the snake to come on. There you go. First screen, go up. Oh. oh, that was unfair. Come on. Am I dead? No. Okay, avoid the snake. Top right of the screen. Top right? Yep. Yeah. Wait for the snake to come past. Because you always have to know where the snake is. You press the button and run away. Maybe. There we go. That's pretty. Did, did it you... kill me? Uh, or did the snake just kill me? Must have just sneaked over. You have to be very away from the snake. So that is a timepiece. Mm. Timepiece can be picked up in the <gasps> temple ah! entrance. So you probably want your whip. Oh my god. I'm what did you do? I'm dropping things. How did you drop my whip? Oh god. Okay, well at least you have a gun. So. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a big, big, big adventure game that needs a whole show to itself. But we got trapped, a tiny trapped. bit. Yeah, trapped forever. Dead. So, time for Amador, <laughs> which is an arcade game. Much oh, easier. you can't be in the room when the grenade goes off. Oh, I thought you have to be in the room with the grenade so it doesn't just disappear. Mm. So, back to joystick one. Mm. Draw squares around. Uh, oh my god, it's starting. Make sure you're not dead. Draw squares to complete uh, an area. So you have to draw a square. Yay! I think this is a really good implementation of the arcade for the time. Uh, Amadar uh, released November 4th, 1982 by Parker Brothers, PB5310, and made by Ed Temple. Cafe Man 2D says, I actually owned Amadar, found it fun. I find it fun too. It's, uh... it's, it's. <sighs> It's like an innovation from Pac-Man, right? It reminds me of, um, what is that game where you have to draw and fill kicks. in... Kicks. Kicks, that's it. There, it's got shades of kicks. It definitely by does. drawing squares. They're kind of predetermined squares, right? And 
Yorgi's Castle has a copy of this as well. Oof, that was close. Can she finish the first level in the five minutes? You can do it. Not done that well. Thank you. Getting there. Just over half. Oof. This has got a uh, flicker management, which is very good. Not too many games we've seen that have flicker management. So it, uh, oh God. Oh, oh, I knew it. Getting trapped, <sighs> getting cornered. Oh, I have another life? Yeah, yeah, it was only your first life. You haven't died yet. That's rather shocking. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like kicks. Yep, very similar to kicks. Predetermined kicks. Thousand points, woo! Run! Oh, ganging up on you. No! Oh, uh, that's terrible. Life. You could do it. Horrible. There's five of them, so many. Ugh. They're kind of random, too. It's oh, chickens, get them! You can get them? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Might as well finish it while you have the chance. It's always a trade-off with, um, oh, now you definitely can't get them. I think it was, like... Yay! 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 Oh, it's piggies! And your uh, paintbrush. Piggies and the paintbrush. If you do the four corners, the monsters will turn into chickens and oh. you'll be able to kill them. Oh, it's the four corners. Okay. Wow. Oh, is, that, is that the button? Did that do that? I don't know. Make you invincible for a second? One corner. Whoa. I'm sure there's like a good like strategy for this, but... Not retracing as many lines as you can, pretty much. I would think it would be like going like that and then down. Or maybe down first. Actually, I mean, you're, you're much. just doing whatever you can to avoid. Yes. Thank you so much, Atari Patch Quest, for subscribing. Glad you're enjoying what we're doing. <laughs> uh, Atari Patch Quest says, I really enjoy your After Dark show. Thank you. We are enjoying it too, playing through all these hundreds so of games. So many games. Oh, wow. And then at the end, I can say that I have seen or played all, all of them. All of them. Yep. I know. I mean, I wouldn't have played all of them. <laughs> Next one is Carnival. Okay. We have two seconds left. All right. There's Amadar with the big monkey on it. Carnival by Sega. On an Atari. Sega. Okay, so you have to shoot the pinwheel at the top to get to the next level. What am I you shooting? You have to shoot everything. Shoot everything. Oh, but your okay. goal is the pinwheel at the top. Uh, it's made by uh, Coleco. It's a Sega game made, made by, by Coleco, Coleco on an Atari 2600. Awesome, I love it. I yep. love all of that. <laughs> and this is made by uh, Dan and Gary Kitchen Sister. Nice. Jessica Stevens. Very nice. Shoot the pinwheel in the middle. You have to shoot the, I think, the little edges of it. You see those pipes at the edge? Yeah. It's very difficult. Oh, there you go. I got one. It was a clever use of the play field to get two colors. Oh, yes. I didn't even so comment on that as well. Uh, so you have to hit the edge oh, of it. Oh, are you out of bullets? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, there's bullets at the bottom. So you have to finish the level uh, in the bullets you have. So you have to shoot that top thing as much as you can. Okay, go one, two. Oh, you're just a bit off.
No, you're on it. I don't get it. Oh, you got it. Got one of them. So there's little flags or pipes going around in a circle. You have to shoot each one of them. And there's like that much room to shoot them. Of course, things get in the way while you do it. You have to shoot when it's sticking out. There you got it. Very sticky. Got it. Oh, when you see a plus sign, shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, plus sign? Where's the plus sign? It's minus right now. Oh, right but I had the time. A, I had a, oh, but I, I, I shot it all at the top. Let me try. I shot it all. The yeah, it was it, disappeared. It was, it was empty. Yeah. Oh, now it's plus. Oh, now it's not. Hmm. Eight and top left give you more bullets. Eight. Oh. Oh. Okay. And top left? Do you shoot that thing at the left? the eights. Gotta get the eights. Oh, uh, okay. Now that I know... Oh, yeah, more time. The eights, yeah. No, it's not plus. There. Ducks and ducks and ducks and ducks. It's a minus. Plus! There we go. Yay! Yay! A level! <laughs> you shot a minus sign with bullets, so you lost bullets. Oh. Enough to end the game. Oh, so a minus don't sign. Don't shoot it when Where it's a minus. Mi oh! The top left. At uh, the top. Sometimes it's plus, sometimes it's minus. Gotcha! Neat! Okay, that's neat. So I don't want to do it now. So it's minus. So you lose, lose bullets. bullets. Okay. Interesting. Eight, get the eights. Oh, three in a row. Ah! Ah, it does wrap around. I love how the little duckies suddenly become beautiful <laughs> swans and fly down to come and attack you. Very cute animals in this. I don't Let's like them see. shooting them, but... Ah. Interesting. Yeah, cool, cool, cute little game. And done. Next. That was cute. Yep. Um, this next one is Marauder by Tiger Vision, mm. which I don't have. Marauder? Yeah. Carnival. Carnival. I don't know how to play this, so... Well, oh, things are shooting oh. you. I guess you have to shoot them. Don't know what that is. Oh, they're blinking in and out. Oh, oh my god, that was cool. He like laid on the ground. It's like this is like a, a top-down perspective. They're they're That's really cool. I don't know where they are. Oh, there's another one. Oh, run. Splat. Uh, Marauder by Tiger Vision, November 4th, 1982, 7005 by Rourke Wiegand. No idea. Well, you're getting points for shooting them. You but might have disappear. to find a way to somewhere. This is a series of mazes. Very much like Berserk. It looks like it. Very, very slow bullets. <laughs> very slow bullets. Bullets still not off the screen. Nothing seemingly to pick up. I think they have like cloaking devices or something. Oh, something beeped. It's a timer in this room. Ah! 
Run! They're very slow too. Oh, it's counting down I something. I don't know what I'm doing. Try to shoot that center thing. Nope. Problem when you don't know the game. Yep. No, well, just explore. Oh, there's someone. Get that thing. Quick. Ah! Oh, you're out of time. Oh, lots of time now. Dead. Oh. Yep, dead. My turn. I think oh. it's line of sight. Yeah. Oh, get it. Oh, line of sight. It's line of sight, so wow, you can only see them when you're in the room with them. Really cool. Okay. Can we shoot it? Oh, yep. Yay! Lots of points. Okay, that's, that's what you, the that's, goal. That's the goal. Okay. Nice. So pretty much just search around for that thing. I like the line oh, of sight. Not... Oh. Was that it? That sounds like a good thing. Yeah. Oh, are you invisible? Looks like I'm invincible for a second here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I can like, run over them. <laughs> Fun run, stuff. Run. Run over you. Run over you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Back to normal now. Got it. Oh. Okay. So there's power ups, invincibility. Wow, there are a lot of. Doesn't them. indicate when it's over though. Kind of dangerous. I didn't hear anything when it was like. Just... Oh. You flash and then you stop flashing. That's... And now you're yellow. Okay. I get it. I think so. The bullets are a little faster now. Not much. Doesn't I... the... Mm -hmm. ah. You seem to be able to get pretty close to them without them like, hurting you. Dodging. The it's line of sight thing is really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. That is quite an innovation. Whoa, 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 whoa. I start in the room? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Must be random. Ah! Yeah, their shots are getting faster now. They're getting faster, it seems. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of weird when you start in the room where, with your mm. objective. Oh my god, now they're fast. So you kind of have to sneak around. <gasps> oh my god, I thought it was above it. Too close. So you can go like this and go, oh, is there anybody up here? Oh my god, he was around the corner. Oh my god, they're so fast. Oh, god. I have a lot of lives in reserve. Oh, now mm -hmm. they're going down. <laughs> so you can kind of look around the... Oh my god. You can shoot with your right hand only. Your, your yeah. shots aren't centered, yeah. And they move out of the way. Yeah. Of, they know... Yeah, it's crazy. Get yeah. Them. Now I need it. No, I'm just looking for the objective. Just run them over. They get in my way. Get out of my way. Coming through. Same room, same room. Oh, wrapping around? Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm intrigued by this game. Very intrigued. Yeah. I don't know if that's all there is to it, but I like it. It's really, really cool. Next one is Alien. And this is actually 20th Century Fox licensed game for Alien. Interesting. It's nothing like the movie. <laughs> it's a Pac-Man ripoff. Oh, really? Yep. Get the thing. Oh, I love the sprites, though. You do have a flamethrower. Oh. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. That is it's awesome. It's a very short range, though. That's fine. Ripley. <laughs> it's Ripley with what a What was the cat's name again? Oh, I don't know. Mr. Snuggles? No, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, is that Alien or Alien 2 with the cat? I can't remember. Both. 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 The cat's because, in both of them? Because she wakes up with the cat. <gasps> right? She right. takes it in the pod. Uh, this uh, by 20th Century Fox, November 5th, 1982, by Douglas Dallas North, oh. Neubauer, uh, number 11006. Oh, it is Pac-Man. They are. It's just Pac-Man. Can go after them, I guess. What does the flamethrower do? Kills them. Oh, does it? Yep. Ugh. But I think you only have limited flamethrowers, or you have to pick up refueling that of them. That makes sense. Oh, you have to get up to the top. Oh, really? Freeway. 
<laughs> Yet another instance. Oh, you of... can't go. Ah. St- oh. Can't go left or right. Yeah, oh. it's not Frogger. It's truly freeway. <laughs> Jonesy. Oh, what? Jonesy the cat. Jonesy, I saw a really good shirt. Yeah, I the thought, other you were, day. thought you would have been tempted to buy that. I was, my friend. Uh, oh, you sent it to me. I sent it. And then to I you. sent it to my friend. And they thought it was good. Yeah. What was what was the, what was on the shirt? It was the cat. Yeah. As like the hero of the movie. Yeah. And it said Jonesy in the font where it should say Alien, right? Yeah. I don't know if it was Alien no, or Alien. said something else. It said Jonesy. I don't think I had any other text. No, it, I thought it said something. No, oh, said, that doesn't said work. said Jonesy. <laughs> no, no, but there was something on it now. In it space, wasn't no just one that. can hear you meow. Go for man like that. says. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cute. But it, it was, it was like made to look really serious though. Yeah. I don't think it was a cutesy saying. No, it was. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. I can't go back side to side. Don't like that. <laughs> don't. Clever how they made the dots in slanted lines. Let them be dots rather than wide plate field pixels. Yes, it's very, very clever. They are, um, they are flashing though, but they're just dots. So the flashing actually is fine. So I think they have like three on each line. That's pretty cute. Yeah, it's it's. Ah. You have a flamethrower. I don't. It didn't really work for me last no? time. No, I think maybe mm. you have to get them from far away. Or from behind. Maybe. I don't know. Try it. No, no. didn't work. Weird. It really works. Maybe it's from behind. Ah. Ah. But I don't know why that would be even useful. At least you don't lose a life during the bonus <sighs> level. Yep. <laughs> you can't get far in that. Yeah. It's hard. You can only go up and down. Yeah, I don't like it's that. It's not Frogger. It's Freeway. And as opposed to Freeway, you get the one chance. So there are power-ups. Oh, it doesn't last very long. Not this level. The aliens are pretty... Ah! Whoa! Came right out. <gasps> Quick! Your turn! I want to do that bonus level! Yeah, do it. 28 seconds, you'll get it. No, not in 28 seconds. I can't get all this board. It's almost over. You get a lot of time to get the aliens. Oh, you do. Yeah. What's that thing in the top? I there? don't know. I think it's just bonus, but. Maybe it gives you more flamethrower, but I have not seen the flamethrower work for me. I am going to do the bonus level. It doesn't. What? No, it's not that. No, because they, they were flashing. So. Oh, okay. I want that. Whatever it is, give it to me. Oh, it is a flamethrower. <laughs> we'll reset the clock, don't worry. Around. They're wily. These aliens. <laughs> Almost done. Almost got it. Get this thing first. There you go. Man. Okay. Okay. How is this? Nope. Mm -hmm. I have to run between them. Like run be Nope. And it's timed. Yep. Oh my god, that's not even that's not enough time to get to the top. That's no, you crazy. hit it. You hit it, didn't you? No, I no. didn't hit anybody. No. Not that I know of. Uh, next one is Megaforth. Uh, Megaforce, also by 20th Century Fox, also by the same person. Somebody was very busy at 20th Century Fox. Hey! Megaforce. Mega Force. Oh, 11005 by Douglas Dallas North Newbauer. Ooh, oh, pretty very background. Nice. Wow, look at the mountains in between like the colored clouds. You're on a motorbike. 
You're moving around. You've got F that goes down. <laughs> it's telling you to defend. Oh, your motorcycle has rockets. Oh, well, let's just go that way. Oh, you're defending the city. Or are you blowing up the city? Is that a good thing? You getting points? You are getting points for blowing up cities. Hooray. Oh my God. Oh my God. What am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Another game based on a movie. Oh, oh, you can fly. Oh, there you go. What is oh, this craziness? I definitely did not see this movie. Oh, very Defender. Very Defender. Of course, it says Defend at the top as well, which is kind of like, eh. Oh, got me. So we have 36 Fs left. Zero lives. Oh, fuel. Oh, okay. Is that for me? Yeah, you blow up the fuel and you get more fuel because your bike needs fuel. Your turn. <laughs> you said it. Yep. Interesting. I like the background. It gives you a city to blow up right away. So funny. Oh my god. You can't. That's it can only funny. shoot oh. on an angle. Yeah. You can't move up and down unless you're moving. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. Can you do up and? But you can in the sky. I mean, it makes sense with a motorcycle. Like, if you're not moving forward, obviously you can't move up and down. Ah! Tracking missiles. My goodness. Not the easiest game I've ever played, I can tell you that much. Oh, you can blow up the palm trees. <laughs> nice, just blow up everything. It is just about as hard as Defender. It's, it's things are coming at you really quick. Let's try and get a little bit further. How big is this land? Alert! 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 <laughs> Need a bit of fuel. Oh my god, as soon as you get on the screen, <laughs> you're dead. Die, temples! Die, city! <laughs> it's so hard! It's crazy! It's so hard! I wonder if we have a hard difficulty switch flipped or something. Uh, they're both know. on B, which is usually easy. easy the graphics are very good. Mm -hmm. The effects are very good. It's just I like the brutal. misty mountains in the background. Like... Oh, please. Ah, run. Oh, it just blows up on its own. It does feel very Defender, doesn't it? Yeah, very Defender. I, we're probably missing something crucial to the gameplay, but... Eh, I think we got most of it now. Oh, did I... I don't think I reset. Okay, a little bit longer than Okay. Reset. Just a just little Just the bit. end of this game. Yeah. And the game's over now. <laughs> oh, 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 one more to life. All right. There might be an objective to the right because it's forcing you to go to the right. Yeah. Mega Force One. Cool. There we go. Very cool. I like it. Okay. The next one is Turmoil. People's favorites. I do have a Turmoil, proper Turmoil somewhere, but we're going to use my Zeller's card. I'm going to show you these Zeller's cards, because they're really unique. Oh, yes, yes. They have, like, all of them have crazy artwork with no words on them. This one's front line. And I'll just show you all the end pieces here. Yeah, they look they really do. nice. They look all exactly the same on the end, same font. They don't have the Activision rod either. Nope. And the artwork is really unique. It's really cool. With no wow. words on it. Since I'm in Canada, it's a little bit easier to get these. <laughs> because there's Zellers here. Or there was. That one's, that one's, there was. That one's pretty cool. 
What is that? Is that Pitfall? Inca Gold. Inca Gold. Laser Volley. Nice. Circus. A lot of these are just remakes of other games. Challenge. That one's really cool. It's got Ghostbusters on it. Like, seriously. Like, what the, it has Ghostbusters. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, literally Ghostbusters. They've got the uniforms with the, on, ghost. with the Ghostbuster thing. That is funny. Time Warp. I don't know who, got, who Zeller's got to do these. Mm. And then there's River Raid, the only one that has a uh, name on it. Mm. Anyway, I couldn't find my turmoil, mm. but I have Zeller's turmoil, so that will have to substitute. No Zeller's anymore, though. Nope, so you can't buy them there anymore. Okay. I don't know if I've, have I played this game before. I've played you games like it. might have. Want me to play first to show you? Sure, sure, okay. sure. Pretty much shoot Great. everything. Oh, it's gorgeous. Then you have to get these. Some things you can shoot through, like that, because your bullet just goes right through it, so you have to just avoid those. Neat. High action, lots of color. You don't shoot them, do you? I can't remember. You... No, nope, nope. they kill you. What was it? I can't remember. Oh, you have to get them from... Some things you have can only shoot from behind. But we're not there yet. Crazy transition Love it. screen. Love it. I think now we'll start to get to the part where you have to shoot some of these from behind. I think it's the tanks. Mm-hmm. Awesome colors, like really awesome colors. High action. I mean, it's really easy on the first couple levels, but then it gets harder. Yeah, those things come for you when you go for the round ones, so... Hi, cat. You here to watch Turbine? So, yes, I like... Oh, that. I like this game, he says. Hi. Yeah? You want to play? Smack, 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 smack. Shall we teach you the smack, the, uh, the button? The reset? The reset? Son of enemies, you can only shoot from behind. Yeah. Yes, nice artwork on the carts. Yeah, they're really unique artwork. Oh. Really nice, really nice, really nice different. Things. So they had their own versions at Zellers. Yes. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't, I don't have the history for those in mm. front of me. Well, Sears did the same thing, right? Yeah, they they did. Um, Sears had they renamed theirs. They took it, games. I think some of these are hacks. The Zellers. The Zellers ones, remember. really. Some of them are original games too. So I think some of those will actually be playing at some point, like Inca Gold, maybe. It doesn't let you go down the aisle unless there's a, a, a one of those round things in it, so you don't have to worry oh, about I accidentally see. going down the aisle. You yeah. just have to get out of it fast enough. Yeah. Uh, to play. Oh, the, it's really raining out there right now. It has that dry earth smell, dry earth rain smell when the ground's really dry. It's like coming down in buckets. Ten internet points for the first person to say what the name of that dry earth smell is. Is there a name for it? It's actually the cement that oh. has a name, I oh. believe. Or the earth. Oh my god. I can't remember. I think it starts with an F. Really? Yeah. There's a, there's a specific name for it. Whoa! <gasps> 
Oh, you have to get those, uh... Now you have to get them fast. Or they turn into deadly, deadly things. Oh. What a game. Are those carts from those years or new builds? Um, well, they're old. Uh -huh. um, but they wouldn't have come out, would they have come out in 1982 or uh, they would have, have come look, out after? I'd have to look them up. Though they came out during, during when things were happening. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play? No, 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 Is you're doing okay? well. It's nice because you're showing the game off. It looks really cool. It it's a nice game. It's fun, a little bit easy. So you can't shoot the tanks? Yeah, you can only do it from behind. Yeah. The, the tank looks a lot like a pair of lungs flying down the hallway. <laughs> so that is a an awesome, awesome game. This game lives up to its name when you get to the hard levels. Mm -hmm. Petrichor. That that I think that's the name of it. Petrichor. Okay, the next one is Condor Attack. Okay. Uh, actually, that was 20th Century Fox as well, November 5th, 1982. Uh, Condor Attack by Ultravision. I do not have this one. Right. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Condor attack. November 12th, 1982. I don't know who made it. They're not owning up to it. This is number 1043. Condor attack. Uh, I popped this in earlier. You shoot everything. Just shoot all the things. It's a little glitchy. Yeah, there's some line shifting happening. Oh, ultra vision. It's, uh, your yeah. ship's kind of uh, cool looking. They kind of... Have five ships left? Uh, oh, they're uh, getting really low. Oh my gosh. They seem to... Ah! Appear and disappear, too. It's harder than it... <laughs> seems when you... It ramps up really bloody fast. Come on! I don't want more condors. <laughs> condors attacking you. Well, at least the name is accurate. Condor attack. Goodness. Oh, you have to hit up. That's why oh. to get to get your uh, ship back. That makes sense. It's a direction you don't use normally in the game. <sighs> Three condors left. Oh, what? Filled up all the condors again. Yeah. Just... Phoenix ripoff. Yes. It's oh a, my god. Oh it's my a, god. It's a bad Phoenix ripoff. Really reminds me of Phoenix. So Phoenix has more to it. A lot more to it. This is like the first <sighs> level of Phoenix. Your turn. <laughs> Sick of it? No, it's fine. Uh, it's frantic though. It the screen's going like this. I mean the Phoenix the, the birds at the top are really well done. Oh yeah. Can you just shoot them? Mm, can you? So. Oh, they just kinda randomly disappear. Like they're not they don't the one you hit doesn't disappear at the top? No, it does. It does. Oh. That's how many you have to kill, I think. They're yeah. off, yeah, and then a new one, I think. See? Oh, no, you can't pick them off. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh. Yeah, sometimes it's the right one that I'm getting, but. No, I think often it's just doing them in order. Oh, okay. So you can just avoid those guys at the bottom and. Pick them off one at the more. top. Total to get Are you getting the, the same t 20 points for the ones at the bottom? Oh. Are you getting the same for the ones at the top? Let's see. Yeah, when they get low, there it's frantic! Look how crazy this is. Oh, three points for the ones oh, at the top. Oh, so you want to get the bottom ones. Yeah, you, at least from what I can tell. More like low-rent demon attack? <laughs> yeah, it's... it's yeah, demon Condors attack. From the, are from Andes Mountains, and it is a seismic location in the Earth. That's why the screen shakes. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Vitoko. It's a good way for, to explain for it. For putting away. a bit of narrative, uh, <laughs> explaining the screen shake. <laughs> it's not a good game. <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty fun. Almost a good game. Yeah. It's not. It's kind of 
pretty. Yeah. It's, uh, the screen shake does add something, and they disappear. Yeah, when you defeat one at the bottom, it subtracts from this, the top. Yeah. But also, you can hit the ones at the top, too. So. Yeah, the top is a total count of how many you left have left on the level, despite how many are even down at the bottom. Yeah, but you get more from hitting the ones watch lower this. down. See, you get ten there. See, there's two flying? Yeah. I only have to hit one to go to the next level. It's so weird. Yeah, because you have two low, and those are the ones from in uh, off in the distance. Sure. <laughs> I know that, that that math works for me. I don't know. I, I <laughs> it is pretty seismic though. It is Thank shaky, you, shaky, <laughs> shaky, shaky. Oh, now it's crazy town. Crazy. They're all flying erratically. I think from now on, whenever someone comes up with a homebrew and their screen shake, <laughs> we're just going to call it seismic activity. Seism there's, there's a lot of seismic activity <laughs> There's a lot of seismic game. activity. Next one is Karate. Uh, hi. Hi, cute little cat. This cat is getting big. He He's, his face is filling out now, you cute little thing. So what is it? Sorry? <laughs> I have to say it every time. Karate. Karate. I heard seismic activity and I'm like, oh. By Ultravision, again. Uh, November 12th, 1982 by Joseph Emilio. 1044. We'll see if there's any seismic activity oh in this one. Uh, nope, after we start it. Even though the time's going down. Weird. Okay, it's definitely so, one player. Let's try it. Is it you? Let's try two. See if it's two. Don't move. Okay, I'm green. You are purple. Down is punch. Up is punch high. Forward and punch is kick. Back and punch. Uh, back and button is kick high. Back and button? Back and button is kick high. No. Forward and button is... Well, yours might be... Forward and button is kick high. Oh, that's a good sign. It's all reversed. Okay, towards the player <laughs> and the button. That's probably the better explanation. Is kick middle. Oh, you get multiple kicks. Okay. I mean, big sprites. They're very chunky, though. <laughs> chunky, chunky sprites. And their legs appear to be a little broken. A little broken legs. I feel like they're dancing. Do 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 do. Oh, oh, you got I me. Fell down. Wait. No, no, you got me. I'm purple. Yeah. I fell. No, I think. Oh, you fell down. I, oh, we reversed positions. Oh, we did. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the colors. Not at all. Not at all. Their reach is so small. Yeah. Oh, I'm sad. oh I'm a red belt. I'm sad. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. No diagonals. There are four moves in this game. Are there? I can only I've only figured out two of them, I think. Oh. Skinny Hulk versus Purple Guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those are the two characters Isn't that you Thanos? can Thanos? I don't know. I don't know anything in the... Skinny in, Thanos. Skinny Thanos and Skinny Hulk. <laughs> Going at it. Finish him! <laughs> Salsa Finish. boxing! That's exactly it! Salsa boxing. Salsa. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> you have to dance and you have to kick. Yeah. Capoeira a little bit? No, Capoeira. they're too high up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is a good game at all. I don't think it is. No. <laughs> Even though I'm winning. There's not a lot of moves you can do. It's only four. They're not using the diagonals. <laughs> so, is the this one of the is... first fighting games? Or what would have, like... Yeah, have we played another... Have we played one another one-on-one -on -one fight one fight fighter yet? We've played boxing. Yes. Yes, But so not full body one-on-one -on -one fighting? No. No? No kicking. There's no kicking in boxing. <laughs> oh, I, what? It's karate. Sorry, it's, it's not karate. boxing. No, I was thinking of boxing that we did play. 
Yeah, but there was no kicking. This is the first kicking game, right? First martial kicking. arts game? Yes. Is this yep. the first martial arts one? Yeah, I haven't, it is. I haven't, I didn't, because you played one no, no martial day with arts. Da Darcy, so. Yep. I'd rather play Pit Fighter. <laughs> yeah, Pit Fighter's not great. Some bad Oh, I have a green belt now. Ooh. Okay, I'm just Going up white. in the ranks. Oh, do I get, oh, not enough. Here, you get a belt. I'll let you get a belt. Get a few kicks in there. Or not. not. <laughs> I have bad kicking abilities. Oh, just push this boat back. It's, it's like, like no. you're, you're too close to the edge of the ring. We're gonna Foul. Re we're gonna reset you. Yeah, I give this an F. <laughs> no. uh, maybe it's an pretty E low. for tall sprites. All right. Not not super great. <laughs> not super great. And they just keep moving, keep moving. Keep it moving. It's, it's a cardio class as well mm. as karate. Next one's Minds of Minos by Comavid. Minds of Minos. Uh, November 12th, 1982 by Erwin Gaines, CM002. It's hard speeding. Oh. I might have to reset. Okay, I think you can destroy and add blocks. Or is that a mine? Is that literally a mine? Mm. No enemies yet. Oh, okay, go that way. Oh, he's coming back. Nice. That's what you do. Ultra Relation is challenging Data Age and Apollo for worst game publisher. Yeah, that is for sure. Bad, bad, bad Ultra Vision. Uh, this is Comavid. Boom! Oh, he's come back. Oh, can you walk through your mine? Is that an extra mine? I don't know. Yet? I assume that's a bad guy mine. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, you want that, I guess. You yeah. collected it. Ah, ah, go up! Oh, there we go. Just in time. Oh, you're at the top. Maybe you have to... Oh, is water? Oh, the mine is filling up. Maybe you have to bring it back. Maybe it's like collect the... I don't know. Capture the flag. Now you've got a little symbol. Very slow through the water. Yeah, can't drop the mine, I don't think, either. Oh, that's fair. Oh. No, I'm dead. Am I dead? Yep. Hmm. Is it as bad as Frogo, though? So I think you might have to bring that back down no, again because there's nothing at the top. Get me. Do you have unlimited? I think so. They respawn really quick, though. Yeah. I mean, the maze is kind of cool. The dropping of bombs is an interesting yeah. way to kill them, but... Yep, that's unique. But they just respawn so quick. Just have to go where they aren't, I guess. So get that thing, and then maybe head back down instead. Because there's it... nothing at the top. Uh-oh. How that happened. Oh, you went through the passage. Did I? I don't remember Go down going to the left. Bottom. Go down no, to the, you already no. went to the top. There's nothing but water there, and it slows you down. I'm not sure if I'm even doing what I'm supposed to be doing here. Ugh. Oh, the water's filling. Oh no. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have to go back to the bottom. Maybe it's filling up the water. Yeah, you already went to the top last game. Ugh. It is. That was close. Oh my god, 
there's so many of them. Oh gosh. Sticky walls, sticky it's corners. It's really hard. There's so many of them. It's hard to get away from them. Oh my god. They come right for you too. Ah! Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> you took his brown dot. Oh, it's his eyeball. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. What is going on? Oh, oh no. What is going on? That one you'll have to lay a mine and be horizontal from And that's it. it. One life? You only get one life? Yeah. Wow. Unforgiving. You have 18 seconds. It's acting like you have another life. No, because I hit the button. Dropped mine. <laughs> Oh. 10 seconds left. Next one is I coconuts. I don't know. Evil Auto. <laughs> yeah, that one's definitely Evil Auto. Next one's coconuts. It mm. is bad. It's <laughs> a bad game. Looks gorgeous, but it's bad. Coconuts? Coconuts. Made by Telesis, November 13th, 1982, by Jim Rupp and Jack Woodman. I mean, it looks amazing. Avoid the coconuts. That's, That's it. what you got to do. All right. Avoid the coconuts. That's all there is. <laughs> really? The monkey looks unbelievable. And the guy at the bottom, like everything. The graphics are astounding in this game. But this is all you do? This is the game. Someone was just trying to come up with a cool image, I guess. Yeah. What is going on here? Oof. And there's one white pixel at the bottom of the screen. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> That's a very bright white pixel on a black it's background. It's like the inverse of a dead pixel. Yeah. It doesn't even tell you you're finished the level. It's just waiting for no, you to press the button. Yeah, it is. It's like, yeah, monkey's just going, ooh, 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 ooh. They just go back and forth. Oh, that was close. Starting to storm by me now. I'll stay as long as the power stay nope. online as long as the power holds up. No. Nope. Now you only have your hat to protect you. Yeah, it's pretty much back and forth. Because that's the best tactic. Ah, oh. and then you lose your hat. That's kind of cute. It's cute. Like the brown just, hair. Not much. Oh, you got you just got your hat back. You found 500 it. Five hundred points? Yeah. This is the game. Oh my god. Now how disappointed would you be at Christmas 1982 if you got this game instead of Turmoil? Oh! Yep. Alright, that was it. Fascinating game. <laughs> at least it's couch compliant. Is I there guess. really no sound? There's just a teeny tiny bit of sound. Tiny. It goes doo 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 doo. You guys can hear that, can't mm. you? Guy resembles Gilligan. Yeah, 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 got the Gilligan hat on for sure. Button does nothing. Up, down does nothing. You're just standing. Just a guy in a Gilligan hat doing silly walks at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Trying to get financing for this next upcoming year's silly walks. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if it's silly enough, though. I don't know. Having an umbrella and a hat is pretty silly. This is pretty silly. <gasps> oh, I'm not doing well. What did you get extra at 500? 500, yeah. Oof. Go from N96. Beat me to the Ministry of Silly Walks reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just needs to kick his leg out as he's walking yep. forward, Just and then a bit more. he'd have his John Cleese. Uh, oh, Yay! he got it back! Yay! Impression going on. Yeah. Oh, that monkey's mad. I like how he vibrates. Oh, it's fast now. Vibe. Oh, don't touch me, he says. I'm so sorry, little gray cat. You're vicious and so soft at the same time. It's like the inverse of um, um, kaboom. Kaboom! It is. It's it like is. Avoid the coconuts. Oh, dead. Thousand sixty. Mm. Uh, Move minute. on. Move it on. It's a minute left. That's it. I, I, we're not getting much anything else we, out of this. We understand the game. Next one's fast food. 
uh, the cartridge for. It's very faded, very wrecked, very somewhat rare game. It also says, warning, violation of this label could result in legal prosecution. Ooh. So, don't move that label. Cool. I think we should spend the next 10 minutes removing that label. <laughs> oh, that's a tight fit. Oh. You know this game. I think so. I don't Go remember on. it looking like this, though, so I must have played someone's hack of it. Yes, we did. So... What am I avoiding? Uh, the pickles? The pickles. Ah, it's a mouth after my I'll, own heart. I'll start it again, because I need a pickle right away. Right off the bat. I think it's just the purple pickles, too. Just the purple? It might be all pickles. I can't remember. Oh. You're supposed to eat Ooh, all the bad food. Now I want some Doritos. Oh, I know. So suggestible. <laughs> Those are good Doritos. Oh, you can move around. Is, it, is the green pickle okay? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. just the purple pickle. You should not be eating purple fries. fries. The graphics are very good. Oh, they're so fun. The animation of the mouth Doritos. is unsettling. Doritos. <laughs> very unsettling. Agreed. It's, it's like... Oh, no! Uh, I'm getting, getting fatter. fatter. <laughs> that is so like funny. Like, really good graphics. But... For gameplay, it's like, you know, you just eat the things. A little, little. Coming at you. Ah, uh, no! Oh, no. There was like three pickles in a row coming at I you. I know. Don't throw pickles at me. That's not very nice. <laughs> <gasps> what is that white dot still doing there? I don't know. That's disconcerting. You think it's... Well, it's two games. The <gasps> white dot is there. No, 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 no pickles. <gasps> no! Non-dead pixel is still there. Is it copyrighted? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Mm, no. Ah, burp. Oh, that is so cute. Closed. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. Uh, so November thirteenth, nineteen eighty-two, Telesis by Don Ruffcorn, Jack Woodman. Void purple pixels. This is so cute. I want Doritos. <laughs> I want Doritos. Oh, Doritos. That's the one thing that stood out, eh? Popcorn upstairs and popcorn later. Popcorn later? Mmm, popcorn. Oh, so many... Oh my god, so many purple pickles. What are my favorite flavor of Doritos? Or, I kind or, of like the nacho and the Cool Ranch. I'm kind of a traditionalist. Uh, yeah? Yeah. I know not, you nacho, can eat yeah. a lot of them. Um, the sweet chili is pretty good, though. What about just um, chips in general? What's your favorite flavor of chips? Oh. What's everybody's favorite flavor yeah, of chips? Yeah, since we're talking fast food. Yeah. If, if you were like, I am buying chips right now, what would be the chips you would buy? Ketchup. Yeah, you love ketchup. Ketchup's so good. Oh, the pepperoncini ones from Kettle Chips are really good. Like, I like yep. chips that are a little spicy. Jalapeno chips. Yep, jalapeno good. I also good. like lime. Ooh, lime chips. Old Dutch, which is a brand up here, does lime, um, like, corn chips. White, what do you call them? Um, yeah. Nacho chips, Nacho, like, like yeah. um, corn chips. Malt vinegar, yeah. Salt vinegar, I... I I you like, like it, salt but I can't vinegar. eat too many because it just destroys malt. your mouth. Uh, oh my yeah, god! Malt, salt, and vinegar, potato chips, or nacho Doritos. Nacho Doritos are good. Flame and hot Doritos. I haven't had too many of those, but those are good too. I did buy ghost pepper kettle chips once. They were pretty tasty. Yeah, because we're going to the U.S. soon, so we need some yes, U.S. U.S. snacks. Snacks. Like Preferably is, something that's more uncommon. Yes, that's not in Canada. Not in Canada that we would enjoy. Of course, they wouldn't know what's not in Canada. Probably. Well, you could probably guess like what the normal ones are. Because they can't get Hot ketchup Doritos chips. with a Crystal Pepsi. Yeah, ketchup chips. You're or all out. dressed, which are not my favorite. Uh, all dressed are fine. They're a bit much. They're a bit much. Because they're all dressed. A bit. <laughs> Got everything on them. Yeah. What other Canadian Ooh, dill chips dill are there? Dill pickle are good too. Dill pickle yeah, yeah. chips. Yeah, Dill pickle's not bad. Mm. Uh, oh my god, did I go between those two? <gasps> wow. Yeah, we're road tripping through part of the US, so we Yeah, need, down the we West need Coast. Oh, the purple one's just flying. I know. It's probably the best uh, game I've played of this. Yeah. Ah! And yeah, Charles get... Whelan says, I'll dress this too much for me. Yeah, it's, it's a bit, too much. bit much. I'm 
gonna die very soon. Things are so fast. No. There we go. Uh, 23 seconds. That was probably the best game I played. That was very good. Mm. 1339. Uh, fast Food by Telesis, November 13th, 1982. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Mm. It's got very good graphics. It's playable. Like I, I think a lot of people oh, do like this fun. game. it's pretty fun, and it's cute. All the little little foods <laughs> flying at you. I yeah. think that's pretty cute. There you go. Thank you. Next one is Dark Cavern, which I don't have a cartridge of. Oh, uh, uh. oh my goodness! You have to work out that uh, cartridge pulling hand. I yeah. think. Sorry, which one? Uh, Dark Cavern. <laughs> I think you've played this before. Shoot the dudes, shoot the spiders, get the guns for more oh shots, goodness. do not run into them. I do know this game. <laughs> uh, I believe it was first on Intellivision. And this is oh notable <gasps> for okay. its excellent use of the abilities of the 2600. A lot of things are made with the ball. Those pink guys are made with the ball. I believe the wiggly guys are made with... Oh my gosh! Not the ball, sorry. Uh, missiles. Yeah, I like Dark Cavern a lot too. Wow. Uh, made by M Network. I, I have this on cartridge somewhere. I don't know why I don't have it. Oh, you have to hit them multiple times, don't you? Uh, do you? Uh, MT55667 by Hal Finney, also known as Night Stalker mm. on the Intellivision. Oh, I lost it. Mm. Ten shots. Similar to um, Wizard oh of War. Oh my god, you can't escape their Wizard shots. Of no, you have to be far away from oh, that them. That was terrible. My turn. Very Wizard of Warish. Yes, it is Wizard of Warish. You Warsh. can. Oh, can you not go back in there? No. Ah. Yeah, you have to be far away. Mm -hmm. So it's best to. Oh, and you constantly move. The pink. Yeah, you can't. You have momentum. It's pretty, pretty. So Pac-Man-ish on the movement. I don't think the spiders shoot. Just no, the guys, right? Just the guys so far, from what I can tell. You have to do that. Yeah, because they still Can't shoot at you. stand still. Yeah, even their dying breaths, they take a shot at you. Yeah. Mean. Very oh. mean. Lots of bullets. But it's always good to get more. Always good. Oh, you... <laughs> I have 22. Yeah, it's, you have It'll bullets. be good enough till the next gun. And I believe... The spiders stay on their own levels because they're made with the player characters. So the developers avoided uh, any flicker in this game by cleverly keeping all the enemies in their own areas, hmm. but while still keeping the screen very full of enemies. It's really, really well done. Down. Oh. oh boy. Get that gun. Soonish. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Poutine trips were pretty good. Ah. Poutine chips? Yeah, I think they released they, they released some funny flavors from time to time. Never heard of those. No. I think we got them here, okay. which is strange that we wouldn't get poutine chips here. Colonel Lama says doesn't beat a real poutine, though. Agreed. Mm. Mm. I find poutine, poutine very yeah. heavy. Oh, it's so good. And very rich. Oh, like I like, can't eat much of it. It's rich. It's like a kajillion calories. It's <laughs> so good. good. <laughs> I like the fries. I like the gravy. It's one of those things. Um, the you're cheese like, just it, puts it over the it top. It is as bad as it sounds. Like it really yeah. is. Yeah. Fried potatoes, <laughs> cheese curds, and gravy. Oh, next level. Yeah, you have to dodge mm -hmm. the shots. Oh, they're mean. So 
So you have to use Pac-Man tactics if you want to stop in a like an area. If you want to go like this, you have to press up to stop there. Oh, they're getting really fast. Oh, they can shoot each other! <laughs> yeah, I did notice that before too. That's funny. And they, they can shoot the other monsters, so you can probably ah. use them to your advantage in some ways. Uh, although I don't know if you get sure. points from them. Oh, you it's like so this fun. Game. It's such a good I can Such tell. a good game. Because I'm good man. at it. Running man. Okay, next one is E.T. the extraterrestrial. Oh my. Oh, did you hear that? So we're going to play a level. Did you hear that? Yeah, he's squeaky. He's like, I don't like E.T. No, I don't, I like, don't like him. Oh, you're so soft. Um, made by Atari, uh, put out by Atari, made by Jerome Domrat and Howard Scott Warshaw, CX 2674. Okay, so you have to fall in the pits, get the pieces. Up twice. Or a button twice, sorry. And, and don't press the button. Don't press the button. Then float away. No, out, away from the pit. Up twice? Oops. Press the button twice. And then move up and float away from the pit. <laughs> move out of the way of the pit. I don't understand. So I'm keep, going up. Yeah, keep moving. Don't stop. I'm not stopping. Oh, go to the right then. Don't don't press up. You're 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 lying. A, you don't push the button twice. Oh, okay. I, I am. Oh, what is try. going on? Maybe I have to do it from the edge. <laughs> there, you try it. <laughs> Oops. Cafe Man TV, this is all we'll see. <laughs> this is all we'll see. Really? Is this the... <laughs> you just keep falling How back come... down into the pit? How come I was playing it earlier and this wasn't happening? I fell in the wrong pit, clearly. <laughs> Are you restarting it? Yes, I am. <laughs> you fell in the wrong pit. This is the charm of E.T., Charles Willen. Not the worst game of all time, not the best game. No, it's, it's an adventure game. Yeah. I put on level three so there's no enemies. Oh, okay. So, go in the pits. You collect pieces of your telephone. Oh, just press once for your. Just, I know. Yeah, I got that. There. But then you. But I was at the top, and I just kept falling back in. That was so weird. It was like the shape of the pit. There you go. Can you go to the right? Oh, I know it. You have to. I think stop when you're out. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And the symbols at the top, middle of the... <laughs> yeah, you have to stop when you get at the top. Gotcha. And the symbols in the middle top... Yeah. Um, ...allow you to, to oh, see things. Oh, something in there, then. That's my phone piece to the top. Yeah. Left. So now I have more. Technique to learn, but not intuitive. Yeah, so when you get out, you stop moving. You stop moving. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so more okay. pieces? Nope, no more pieces. And see the symbols uh, tell yeah. you things that are happening. E? So, no, that's your phone pieces. Go there. that way, question mark. So there's something in that pit. More phone pieces. Oh, and I think we've oh, got it phone. all. And you get those to build up. Your strength, because your strength goes down. I can call Elliot there. That's the Elliot symbol to mm -hmm. call him. And one of them is so that you can get more health. And you can switch screens too. Oh, that's so funny. If you're being chased. Now I have to go. Is that the thing that. Yep, there we go. See, I'm eating them. Four at the bottom. Yeah. Three. I'm gaining health. Two. One. Yum, yum, yum. Ate them all. Hi. Here's hi. the forest. And oh. I think uh, now that I have all the telephone pieces, which spells E.T. Yeah. Uh, I go to the symbol. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Maybe you're missing one. Maybe. Elliot, come help. That sends the bad guys. Hi, Elliot. Oh, you stole one of my pieces of, of uh, Reese's Pieces. Oh, they're Reese's Pieces. 
funny. Now, uh, if if you had more than six week development time, this would be a lot better, yeah. I'm sure. It doesn't it's, seem terrible. It's fine. It's just a simple, you know, adventure game, and you just have to. That's the only bad part is that when you go onto a screen, you can run into a pit immediately. That was my fault. <laughs> and that was ET. <laughs> That was E.T. Nice. It's it's a cute little game it is. once you know how to play it. Yeah. It's actually uh, pretty good for kids, especially on this level. Yeah. Next one's Sky Jinx, which is an, probably, our, I think, our only Activision game. I have to look my list again. Not that many. They had more earlier in the year. Yeah. So they didn't do a Christmas rush. Oh, no, there's one later. Okay. And we did do this for the patch. Nope, don't hit those. So you have to go to the right of the red and the left. You have to go around that side, go left to that one. Oh. Right of that one. There you go. Now you're on track. Oh my god. Really? I have to go to the left, the right of this, and the left of that? So it's always left, right, so you'll just turn immediately. There's a bit of lag to turning, so you can turn a little bit before you get there. To avoid the balloons. No balloons. Uh, Why are the balloons on the obstacle course? Activision, November 14th, 1982. Bob Whitehead made this AG019. And there is a lot of cool things going on in this game. The shadows are amazing. <sighs> it's one of these, eh? You have to... It is one of these. I'm going to put you on a long one. Okay. Thank so you. I get more time to talk. Yeah, I didn't do very well starting at the beginning there. Because so. uh, we have some comments. <laughs> Um, Dave M says my favorites are Nexar, Turmoil, Dark Cavern, and Fantastic Voyage. But you got to know what to shoot, what not to shoot. Shoot the wrong stuff, and the game ends quickly. Thomas Yench says love Sky Jinx, which is what we're playing. Smart yes. programming and looking great with just two K. Two K, really? Yeah. So a, a lot nice of things are drawn with the ball, I believe. Like there's shadows. I think the trees are drawn with the ball. Is this just like staggering? I can't remember. It's really, really clever. Met Lunar says, love the shadows. Yeah. Really <laughs> nice. Really uh, nice. This is what makes it look so much more advanced for its time. Yeah, just the small thing of a shadow, which is just, just below it, different color, and kind of just a little bit messier. It's just a continuation. It's just a long sprite. Um, Johnny WC says, I have a fond memory of... Um, uh, R-O-T-L-A and solving it on my own. Rages of the Lost Ark. Uh, back before there was cheat codes, walkthroughs, etc. Is quite thrilled to find out, figuring it out. I think it's hugely underappreciated. I had similar memory about E.T. I personally like this game despite its flaws. The pits were annoying, but once you figure out how to avoid them or catch yourself in the middle of a fall. So if you press the button while you're falling in ET, you can oh. flow back up immediately. Um, they weren't so bad. Other standouts include Turmoil, Dragonfire, River Raid, Vanguard, and Spider-Man. Incidentally, I re recall that when I played River Raid and Vanguard, oh, yes. my brothers would Quoting the commercials for the games. River Raid, River Raid, can you make it? And Luther destroys the Gond. Looking back on it now, the commercials are pretty cheesy, but they had a big impact on us as kids. That's for sure. Speaking of Luther, he did look like a big dope in that commercial. And it makes sense since destroying the Gond in Vanguard was very easy. And the only letdown of the game. Yeah, we'll see it when we get to Vanguard, which is an awesome game. Mm -hmm. But the boss is like the easiest boss in any video oh, game really? history ever. Yeah, it's ridiculously easy. Picking a favorite is tough, though the top two for me are River Raid and Vanguard, and River Raid getting the edge. And that was Johnny WC. Nice. John Shampo. Nathan Strum says, Challenge of Nexar has always been a favorite of mine. Highly underrated game. The trackball edition is a must-have if you own a trackball. I recall being very impressed by the graphics in Megaforce, but not anything else. Yep. Same, same here. Very, very cool looking, but it's like, yeah, it's kind of a weird version of Defender with split screen with a motorcycle and you're flying. Yeah. It's like, it could have been amazing, 
with a little bit of tweaking, I think. Yeah. Oh, Vitoko's out of here. See you, Vitoko. Oh, Thanks for night. hanging out. Really? I was down to one? Oh, no. Or was that the end? No, that was it. Yeah. Okay. Because you keep playing. Three minutes. Yeah, good stuff. And 10 seconds left. That was fun. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah. It's graphically Im incredibly Very cool impressive. looking. Especially Very. for 2K. Yeah. Unbelievable. Next one we're going to play is a first RPG mm. on the 2600. Really? Yes, and it is impressive. It's from the Star Path Supercharger. All that extra memory. Uh, it's Dragon Stomper, if you want to load that up. Please. Uh, made by Starpath, AR4400 by Stephen H. Landrum. Okay. So, I think you press the button to start. Okay, so... Oh, calm, calm. <laughs> press down. Okay, uh, you're already on moving. So you move the stick, you move to move, because you're in move mode. There's different modes. So go up. I think there's a castle up there. Full oh, screen scrolling, scrolling as well. Scrolling! with, you know, triplicates and water. Like, you're moving in overland. There's the castle. So move to the castle. A demon! And text. So you, you can move, fight, use, or status. You want to fight. So press to the right. You miss the demon. You were hit. Take three units of damage. Okay. More. So fight again. Miss the demon. Uh-oh. Miss the demon. Demon missed. Fight. Hit him for three. You have to see the movie Megaforce to understand it. I guess so. Ooh. Oh, no. This might, guy might be too... Oh, you got him. Yay. Nice. 15 gold. Blue gold. You're in the money. Okay. Uh, so go to the castle again. Oh, down and up again. So you can go to use. Oh. Okay. Go to the castle again. Beetle. Fight that beetle. Killed the... Oh, hit the beetle. Take one unit of damage. Fight. No. No. Beetle's gonna kill you. Very ominous music for a beetle. Okay, so move away from the castle and move towards the castle again. Press a button, maybe? There. Go to use. And you only have gold, so you can't really use gold. Yeah. But try it anyway. And you can go to status as well. So you've got 436 gold, 16 strength, 23 dexterity. Go to your inventory. Nothing. Nothing? No. So explore the land. Oh, you can move left and right. Wow, full four-way scrolling. Very this fancy. This game is extremely innovative. First RPG? Very, very I don't think we played in something you would call, call an RPG. It just kind of swings in. <laughs> it's a random encounter. A key! Yay! Run to the castle! And gold. Nice graphics for the key. Hey, we're talking about... Uh, he's not quite one dot. He's four dots. He's but four whole you're, he, You are playing as a dot. Woo! Oh, you have to go in the door. Or not. Try to try use the key. Oh, open door. Okay, you're near enough. Oh, you have to go to the door then. Just fit in the door. There you go. Try it now. Press the button. Press the button. Use key. Open the door. Oh, what? It's the wrong key then. I was playing this earlier and I opened, uh, tried, try opening the chest, I guess. Nope. Okay, well. Wrong key. Wait. Key to somewhere else. A key. Please go to the next castle. Princess is in another castle. K. 
kid and oh I'm sorry did I make a funny noise oh did you disturb this little black cat I'm guessing the world wraps around uh, I'm guessing too well 12 seconds left for the RPG for the win <laughs> can you do it can you win in 12 seconds need a castle oh, oh. a hut oh no a monkey <laughs> a monkey, a monkey. <laughs> the monkey missed. Fight that monkey! I want to see that hut. <gasps> Five damage. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, you... Oh, that was close. Good. Oh, there's a yellow key! Oh, or I nice. don't know what color key it is. Go to the hut, then go back to the castle. I'm giving a little bit more time to this one. It's locked. Oh, you might have the right key. Did that work? I guess it yeah, opened the... Yeah, it did. Oh. Nice. It's a weak, weak warrior. Oh. oh, I'm dead. Okay, well, let's get in. Very cool. Very ominous music for a beetle. <laughs> Next one's a Star Path Supercharger oh. uh, game as well. Uh, Escape from the Mind Master, uh, November 18th, 1982, uh, by Dennis Caswell, AR4200. Escape from the Mind Master. Okay, this is. Oh. You have to find. What? Yeah. Is this the first instance of a. Oh my god. A moving 3D game. It still turns in 90 degree angles. So you have to find pieces and fit them into those slots. Um. And you can see the maze at the bottom. And you usually find pieces at the end of little um, hallways. But there's like baddies. So there's a piece you need to find. But how do, oh, I need to find it. And then place it in there. That's another piece you need to find. A locked door. Maybe that's the door to out. Captain Man 2D says this one seemed to get the most press of the Star Path games. I mean, it's visually impressive. Is it the most fun out of the Star Can Path games? Can I kill games? it? Charge the button? No. Maybe he gives you stuff? No. Just kills he killed me. Kills okay. It. So you have to Fair avoid enough. them. Oh, there's a piece. Get that piece. Oh. Now go put it where you found the opening. And then I believe you do a mini game to place it. Because I played this very momentarily because I was not familiar with it. Oh, it's just down the hallway. Oh, the other way. No. There you go. Press the button. Good. Done. That one's done. Oh, there's that piece. Oh, run! 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 <laughs> oh, I think this is... Oh. Get out of the way of those. Get out of the way of them. Get out uh, of the way of them. Oh, uh, you can't go very far. <laughs> it's one of the, It's a mini game. Oh, this is. What so is the cute. music indicating? I think it is how close you are to the enemy. I don't know what this gives you. Something I hope. But it's kind of cool that the mini game just kind of overlays on uh, top uh. of like the maze. <laughs> I mean, extremely uh, visually impressive. I, oh, I have to get orange. into the end. Uh, I don't know what the end is, but yeah. It's getting faster. Ah! Oh. Ah! Twenty-one. Yay! <laughs> no, that was on the right hand I side. Know. Oh, okay. Thank God, there's a map. Oh my goodness. Nightmare. Yay! Two pieces. 
Now the door I opens. I think there was a round. Okay. Maybe the door's open now? There's still a round one that you needed to find and there's put. There's that one. Oh, is that the it? There we go. We got that one. Or no, that's another one to get. Okay. <laughs> right away! I don't understand how the high-res HUD graphics are done. What makes up the maze graphics? Uh... I think it's wide triplicate, and then in the middle... Oh, I don't know. Two sets of eight? There it okay. is. Okay. We're done. Done? Yeah. yeah okay. We'll stop. Okay. This is fun. That, that <laughs> I can play this for one. longer. <laughs> yeah. It's got, uh, got some things going. Okay. The next one is ones you guys can't see. I don't know what the music is indicating. It just kind of changes as you play. I think it's just a continuous loop. Yeah, it's background. It so we're going to be playing a Bachelor Party. Okay. From November 20th, 1982. I don't see that Mystique here. and Play Around. There, Bachelor. Yeah. This isn't one of the adult ones. Yes, so we're not showing it. Oh, really? Yeah. You can play it on your own, everyone. Oh, it's a paddle game. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> so no one's allowed to watch us play it. No. We Interesting. Don't, we don't want to violate any indecency laws on indecency Twitch laws. or YouTube. <laughs> Even if they are indecent pixels. Tiny, tiny pixels. Well, I can tell you right now, there are a number of sprites on the screen that have very large bosoms a la Madonna 1988 like very cone shaped so on the right hand side there's like eight of them yeah got it yeah bounce that guy back oh it's it's pretty much breakout okay except horizontal breakout missed him I did just get barely I, oh. Okay. You just barely missed him. And you are on the left hand side. You're like a kind of a box. And you're bouncing a guy against the women. Now he's moving really fast. Ah! Oh my goodness. Tanya's okay. missing. When it goes, da, 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 Tanya missed the yeah. guy bouncing around. Can he goes you? very fast. Oh my gosh. I, I'm. Now would be a good time to treat the cats. Very true. Yes. If you want to give oh. chats a treat or even catnip, because I think they're running out of cat treats, aren't they? That means she, uh, Tanya bounced against yeah, yeah. one it of the women. It goes really fast when he hits the back one. Yeah, he like doubles. It's treat time. It's treat time. Yum, 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 oh, yum, look yum. at those kitties. Look at those kitties. Okay, my turn to play. Your turn to feed the cats. <laughs> okay. It's silly. not a good game. It's a very silly game. And it's not really all that adult, to be honest. I don't think you'd be... Kittens. Unless there's some cut screen I don't know about there. No, it's just... Suggestive. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Barely even that. Well, the guy is nude. Is he? Oh, I understand and now. The women are supposedly nude. <laughs> they're, all, uh, they're all monochrome now. I just thought that was his arm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is long. <laughs> oh, it's a very uh, hard game, it's too. It's not, yeah, it's not it's very good. It's very hard. And it's not good. Okay, treats. <gasps> I might be able to get it. No, come on, get it. Yay, I cleared a level. You have to hit your bell, kittens. Here, you're distracted by all the cords. Here, there. Good kid. Oh my god, he's bouncing in behind and he's clearing every screen. Aww. It went through a whole level and it didn't even touch him. Yeah. Because he got caught in behind finishing a level. It's very breakouty. It's a terrible breakout. Oh, come on. None of the attempts at a dark <laughs> Atari <laughs> games were. Know. They were all playoffs of existing games, mm. and they're worse versions of them. Hit the bell, Atari. Oh, 
The black cat's gonna get all the treats. Hit your bell. Hit it. Hit it. Hit the bell. <laughs> like the black cat. <laughs> He'll, he'll Good learn. Good kitty, there. He's food motivated, so if he, he doesn't is. hit it, he doesn't get any. Couple oh, more. Cool. Couple more for the kitties. Oh, One for you. It's a very silly game. Super duper silly. There you go. Okay, last one for the black cat. <laughs> Very insistent that he get all the treats. Atari's like, what happened? What happened? Where did I... Where I, I didn't I get barely, to have any. I barely got a treat. You got to ring the bell, little yeah, kitty. I wasn't ringing it very much. If you're not hungry, I guess you don't... You're not ringing the bell. The black cat's put, got his paw out like he's oh. ringing a bell, like it's still there. Okay. Okay. The next game is uh, three in a row of these. Next one's beat em and eat em. Also paddle. Uh, and these are all made by Joel H. Martin. Oh my. Um, so it's, it's... Uh, I don't even, I don't even know what to say about this one. <laughs> it's, it, you're... It, first of all, it copied the Pac-Man sound yes, of dying. Did. Uh, there's some women at the bottom. You, you you really don't need to give. There's a guy at the top. Yes, that's all you need to know. And the, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> it. it looks like crackpots a little bit because it's you're at a building, and there's a, a decent cityscape in the background. There's some, <laughs> some you're wind. trying to give it some redeeming qualities, aren't you? There's some wind. It's way way better looking than the last one. Oh my! And this woman's lipstick should have been red. Not. <laughs> Look they, like they, they haven't they, shaved they in look a while. At the, like they have four o'clock. Sh um, yeah, yeah, what is it? Five o'clock shadow. shadow. The oh. graphics on them are actually really good. <laughs> better the than the last one. Yeah, way better than the last oh, one. Oh, cafe man. Yes, agreed. That was really <laughs> cheesy. Yeah. Oh. It. It's pretty much kaboom. It's sort of yeah. It's it's a big rip of kaboom, except a lot harder. Uh, Oh my. Oh my goodness. I think you have to catch them higher up. I think you do. Yeah. Because you're touching them, but it's like going right through you. <laughs> and this is why we're not showing them. Yeah. This one is definitely this not. This one to definitely be... falls in the category of adults. Yep, yes. yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's in the cafe, man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. If you want to. <laughs> oh, what's it is happening. Kaboom. It's just it, here. Okay. There you go. So you get two. Just you don't you don't lose one if you. I don't. Uh, no, it's I have It's always two. It's always two. At the two bottom. individuals at the bottom there. Psst. Bye, cats. So it's quite a wide. Uh, area to catch. Yeah, but but um, it's not like Kaboom where you have levels. It's you have to catch it at the top, right? Like yes. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. So it is kind of harder in that way. And you can't let them fall in between either. No. I don't think. No. So it, it is a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Sorry, we can't show this. Well, not sorry, we can't show this. No. But... I'm not. <laughs> it's a God. really hard game, too. Uh, the fact they... I know. It gets hard really quick. Yeah. Why do they use Pac-Man dying? For the opening know. sound. I don't know. As, As Thrust, no pun intended, stated last show, the worst is yet to come. <laughs> I think the, the hit-to-miss ratio is pretty good. Uh, so far. Oh, for, for the, the for series of games? We're not just today, talking about the adult games. Today. Yeah. I mean, these adult games are really terrible. The five o'clock shadow faces, I know. Yeah, that's <gasps> that's unfortunate. Like, why? Why? Why did they choose that color? Why? Out of 
all the colors. Hard game, no pun intended. Oh. It actually is. It's really hard. Very short levels, though. Oh, whoa. Angry noise there. Mm -hmm. I heard that one before. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> oh. That's a new, at least that sounds decent. Pac-Man ripoff sound. So it actually, when you're going through a level, you only have, it puts you in the middle of the level. If you're not, you don't yeah. have to start the level over. No. Oh. Oh, I'm just restarting the game. Okay, got right. ten seconds left. Enough of that. <laughs> What's the next one? It's not a paddle game. Nope. Is it another adult game? Yeah. Last right. of the three. The worst one yet. Oh no. <laughs> For gameplay or subject matter or both? Uh, subject matter. It's the worst. Probably you could ever think of. Oh. Uh, it's Custer's Revenge. Oh, okay, yeah. By Mystique Play Around, November 20th. Oh, I don't think I By Joel want to H. Know. Martin. Oh, my. It's bad. It's bad news. So there's. Oh, even the music's bad. Yeah, the music's bad. You have to avoid the things in the sky and okay. make it to the right hand side. That's all I'm going to say. Offensive even in the 80s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a big to-do. Press the button a bunch of times. And then you have to get out of the way if, if the things in the sky come down. Yeah, we're not going to be playing this for very long. <laughs> no. No. Atrocious. <laughs> Caffeine says this is the worst. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay. <laughs> Don't need to we're watch reset. any more of we this. We get it. We Woo. get it. Told ya. But we had to play for a little bit because it's that's, one of them. That's our goal. Okay, China Syndrome is the next one. Okay. Uh, by Spectravision. Unknown who made it. So you pretty much catch the dots. Okay. <laughs> Your reaction to the game. Any dots? All the dots. All the dots. Before they split apart. Before they split apart? Yep. Crap. Yay. So it's, it's a nuclear reactor. And... Those are atoms. I, I yeah. read up very Nuclear. briefly about it. Fission ray? SA205 is the number. And if you let them bounce too much, they split apart, and then it gets really crazy and hectic. Yeah. That was really hard to catch. Oh, you guys can't see. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to uh, not showing you that... Uh, Yeah, this one's adult as well. We can't, <laughs> yeah. we can't show it to you. It's adult subject matter of nuclear reactors. Ah, Catch back it. Back here. Catch it. Oh, it's split. See, it says normal at the bottom. Yeah. When there's too many on the screen, it gets like, ah, it says something else. And then gotcha. when it goes red, like it's all green. And then it goes yellow, I think. Not sure what that is. I think you might have to avoid it. No, I think you're right. Oh, you can just hold it and it'll go into them. I think you got two in the two at once. I did. Not not bad gameplay. Interesting yeah. premise. Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely can. Danger. Good explosion. Good Very explosion. good explosion. And uh, interesting that there's different colors and it flashes that yeah. whole band of a color. Very, very cool doing that. Oh.
Does the level end when you get all all of them, or does it? Is there predetermined? Uh, I think you probably have to get a certain score. I don't know. Yes, it does end. Cause I'm on level two, I think. Yeah. Ah, get back here. Get so it doesn't back seem to here. be counting down anything. Oh. Oh. No. Done. Oh, the bottom right is the countdown. I think it's a little wedge that counts down. Yeah, but you do. S oh no. Run out of. Now there's two things to avoid. Three Mile Island, the game. Yep. Not bad. I think this reactor needs some cooling rods. <laughs> I think so. Cooling rods. Rather than somebody picking out the... Picking out the bad stuff. Graphics are fine. Yay. Yay! Level four! Oh, now there's more things to avoid. Whoa, that was close. Oh, I see. Okay. They come out of them. Just looking at the things at the bottom. When there's one on the screen, it'll have, it'll have a piece of the uh, pie. And when there's two of them, it opens up even more. Oh, gosh. There's like eight pieces. So as soon as it splits into eight, then, then you're in trouble. Yep. Now that's a quarter of it with two. So there is eight total until it goes danger zone. We still have glow-in-the-dark fish in Susquehanna River in Pennsylvania. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Ugh. I mean, they've genetically engineered glow in the dark fish. <laughs> yeah, but the, I, I think their glow in the dark fish might be. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, now it's ramped up. Oh my gosh. I guess this uh, programmer didn't know about fractional movement. Yeah. Ah. Because oh my gosh. They're just like double the speed. Oh boy. That just accelerated. <laughs> Oh, it's danger. It's like, no, you're dying now. Yeah. All the all the dials are going crazy. Woo! I like the dials. Those are really cool. All right. One second. Zero seconds. Real sports football. Get ready to be underwhelmed <laughs> by our ability to understand football. <laughs> oh, such a tight fit. Ready? Oh, everybody's running around. Oh, is this soccer? Oh, wait a second. Real sports football is soccer. <laughs> nice. Okay, which way am I supposed I to go? I think you're just playing on your own, aren't you? Am oh. I playing? Are you? I don't know. Can you move the blue guy? Oh, I can. Okay, never mind. I didn't think I was playing. Oh, because oh, you switch back and forth. I don't understand. So it's three on three. And with no goalie, it looks like. Oh, how do you switch between people? That, I don't know. I think you only control one. And then no. You oh, you oh, can? Oh, there. That's how you... But then how do I steal the ball from you? Probably press understand. the button. Yeah, but that switches the person. I don't know. Oh, maybe... Oh, no, it does. It does work. So I am orange-yellow. Tanya's blue. Which way am I going? Wrong one? Yep. Damn it. They're <laughs> <laughs> wrong goal. Oh. Oof. No! Switch! <laughs> now you know how to play. Uh... Oh, that doesn't work. I don't understand how to get the ball away from you. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't get it away from you until you shoot it. Real sports soccer, yes. Um, I have it labeled football, because I think I have a French version. How do I pick up the ball? You have to switch to that guy. There okay. you go. And but then I ran into it. It's not hitting the button. There we go. So there's no, there's no shooting. Pass. Well, it's... Yeah, I can pass, yeah. Yeah, you can. And it switches automatically. Like when I kick up, it switched automatically to that dude. Oh, no, it did? Yep, for me. 
when I passed it to my other guy. I thought I had to so switch it. So you pass it. up. Pass up. See? Oh, I see. You have to switch your guy, though. I do, yes. Oh, and that's just the button. Okay, if you're kind of... So it changes how you play. Okay. Yeah. It definitely gives you an advantage if you have the ball, though. Yeah. The, it's like, the person it's with not... the ball is too fast. Like, way too fast. It's just really easy once you have the ball. <laughs> it is. Yeah, because so. you have to pick your player if you're trying to chase the ball down. Yeah. Like, you're only... I'm all, Yeah, see, I can barely keep up. Like, you're almost at the goal yeah. by the time I catch up. Yeah. Once you have the ball, you definitely have the advantage. Either the crowd is cheering or a spaceship flew by. <laughs> See? Like it's... Yeah. Oh, didn't quite go in. Oh, <laughs> didn't fl see because you have to flip to this it. This is more like basketball. <laughs> like bit. once you have the ball. Oh no! You're on it. You're, you're gonna win. You're gonna put in the basket. Yeah. Soccer does not score this high. <laughs> oh come on! <sighs> Ridiculous! Oh, it's a cicada. They think. Yeah, it's a cicada. <laughs> oh, see, you just run into me. Yeah. It's pretty not good. Not good. No. They needed some more time uh, balancing this game. Oh, come on. Oh, and your player has to oh. stick to their third of the screen. That's, that's another thing. Here we go. Like your middle guy can't go to the bottom. You have yeah. to switch to the bottom guy. So pass to the bottom. I can't. It didn't pass to the bottom. You have to kind of go in an angle like that. Oh. It's really annoying that it automatically switches you, but not me. Yeah. So then you're like, because it cycles through. Yeah, just with the button. Ah! Hello, Trey guy. Hello. Oh, I passed the two troops. And done. Spider Man is next. <laughs> Spider Man. Uh, oh. <laughs> Rip it out of there. Spider Man. You got a cat with a fluffy black tail. That tail is getting fluffier by the day. It is. Yeah. Seems really cool. You want to play this one? Sure. Lol, where's the goalie? <laughs> the yes. net, exactly. No goalie. Oh, oh. Okay. oh it's going to be a lot of Spider Man deaths. Oh, he just goes up. Oh, that's so great. That's so like. You have to avoid the dudes. Are they all bad guys? Oh, oh no. no. That's that's pretty cool that you can catch yourself oh, on the way down. Uh, I think I'll just go straight up. So so does it fall when it encounters a person then? No, when I didn't attach to it the building. I oh, think it might how do, do you that not as well. The building? You just No, mess. you hit the guy, I think. Like if I go on an, an angle. angle and I don't I let go when it's on the building. The and end you of your web has let to go. The end of the web has to hit the building, not a window. Like, like not the middle, but when the you say the building, building. Yellow building. Yeah, but you hit the yellow building. You just didn't hit one of the middle paths. Yeah, I have yeah. to hit the building. The you yellow. have to hit the yellow path. Yeah. In the like going vertically or horizontally. Anywhere. Okay, so that's okay too. Now it gets hard. Oh gosh. I have to defuse that bomb. I think. It's very challenging. Or maybe I have to avoid the bomb. Maybe I have to swing into it? I'm gonna avoid the bombs. No! 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 Oh. My guess is the H move only every two lines. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. There's a nice Get comb. Get web if your body captures the dudes or a bomb. Hmm. 
You get a web? You get a web. If you catch one of the people? So you're supposed to catch the people? No, I don't no. think so. I think you're avoiding all the bombs and all the people. Oh, you do catch, you did catch him. Oh. You swung into him. Okay, so maybe I do have to get the bombs. You have to swing into them. Nope. So hard. Uh, swing into them at, a, at an angle. Interesting. Oh, so you can like, oh, you can go down. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. So I'll go on the beams. No! The web wasn't long enough. You ha no, the beam isn't enough. You have to hit, I think, one of the... Oh, God. <laughs> one of the horizontal bars. It doesn't want to stick, I think, to the small parts of the beams. I'm missing them. I'm just... Uh, Are you? Yeah. No, it looked like you had them, but... Oh, I guess... I guess... That's a very cool game. Looks hard, but very cool. It's a little challenging. How do I swing again? I have to do it on a diagonal to start with. Yeah. Oh, there I'm getting points. Are you, I guess I'm rescuing these people from from the building. Guess the bomb doesn't affect them. But you can only swing when you do diagonals. Which makes sense, because if you're not doing diagonal, how the hell are you swinging? Oh, it doesn't quite reach. You have to swing. Yep. But it's so hard because you have to let go of the button exactly when it's on yellow. yellow. <gasps> then when you're on the window uh, area, you can't just put it anywhere. We call web swinger for a reason. Okay, your turn. My turn. It's really hard. How does it work? Oh, sorry, kittens. A uh, button to put out your web and you let go when you want it to attach. Okay. What? So, okay. Nope. Charles Whelan said this one is tough for me. It's tough for me too. It's just, it's just really tough to, to get it precise because your web goes pretty fast. So you have to be, you have to let go at exactly the right time when you're doing a diagonal. You're doing a little bit better than me, actually. Oh, come on. A little on. too far. The movement is really fun, though. Like when you swing. Oh. Perfect. Nice. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, so close. So close. Okay. Well, the time's up anyway, okay. so that's okay. That is, it's a really cool looking game. Yeah. That's a Spider-Man game. That's 100% Spider-Man. 100%. Yeah. Parker, uh, made by Parker Brothers, mm. uh, by David Lampkins, Laura Nikolic, uh, PB5900, November 21st, 1982. Next one is International Soccer. So, more soccer. <laughs> more soccer. All class. right. Oh, got Chunky a bunch of, bunch, bunch of people squatting on the field. Hopefully they're... Uh, so, who am I? Uh, I am Blue. I'm going I think the wrong you're going way. the wrong way. Let's see if we have a goalie in this game. We do have a goalie. Mm. Can I control him? Nope. Not yet. Oh, intercepted! Kick it up! Kick it, up. Ah! Kick it off the field! Whoa! 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 Look at that. Kick Whoa! Just keeps way going. too far! That is way too far. Get it! I can't switch guys. I uh, yeah. I guess you just control whoever's closest. I don't. I don't know. My yellow guys are just running. I don't even know what's going on here. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. I don't know. Because you control the guy that's like this. That's the only one you control. Can I switch them? I tried to. You, I, I couldn't. I can't tell. Okay, so that's you. So you control the center. How do I get it away from you? 
Just touch me. Yeah. But I'm not... Oh, I just control one guy. Ah! Yep, just one guy. That's weird. It is very weird. It would be better if it was like the other one where you could actually switch. Yeah. That was that was a good mechanic. See, I can't control the goalie and he's useless. Oh, <laughs> their shooting is useless. Well, passing's not bad if you do it right. I don't even know. Yep, passing's not bad. I'm running into him. Oh, come on! <laughs> useless goalies. That's not I don't right. know what's better, a no goalie or a useless goalie. Yeah. No, but I ran through you and then you ran up. Like, whatever. Wait, which way am I going? You're going down. Are you sure? Yeah, I am. Um, nope. Passing is useless. Oh, come on! <laughs> there, there is no, uh... There's no friction on the field. <laughs> this is... I, I don't even know why you would even bother. Oh, so I got it. Finally. Oh, my God. But you can't control, like, okay, so now I'm controlling the goalie, which is fine. Which is but good. I can't control anything. I can't rush this guy. I can't you, control anything. And you can't switch to another guy. No. No. Get out of the box. <laughs> but, like... And the other guys in the field are useless. Like, I'm standing here. Yeah. And that yellow guy beside me is doing almost next to nothing. I can't switch to that guy down there. Oh, I don't want to. Sh I didn't want to shoot that way. Like, give me a break. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this game. There you go. Hooray! No, boo. Fake boo. sports soccer. Stupid, stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I didn't start the timer. We can stop anytime. Anytime is good. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one is Cosmic Creeps by Telesis, December 2nd, 1982. Hey, Chelsea, Ronnie Mel. More guys on the field, which is cool, but the control is very bad. <sighs> which one is it? Cosmic Creeps. <sighs> this one has crazy graphics. Very crazy. Super great. What are those like? What is going on? So you were the guy at the bottom. You're trying to get to the top. Oh, is it just like a freeway kind of game? Kind of. And then once you get to the top, you have to bomb the guys coming down, trying to get to the top. What? There he is. Just everything. This guy too. Uh, He's, maybe isn't he not me? that guy. Isn't he me? You didn't get points for bombing that guy. But you do get them for the bombing the green guys. Really great graphics. Gameplay. Mm. Bombing green dudes over and over again. Is this all I'm doing? It, they got really slow all of a sudden. Maybe I was supposed to let that guy gun to the top. Maybe. Oh, no, oh, they're faster. Oh, they just get faster as they come up. Oh, good night, Colonel Lama. Good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. That's it. <laughs> Telesis. That's it. Oh, forgot the timer. The little stop. It doesn't change after a while. Am I supposed to let one come to the top? I don't think so. Oh, the sun is setting on the bottom, which is kind of cool. You wait till the sun sets. They're kind of cute. Almost. They have little red jackets. They do they have their hands in their pockets. I too. know. They're like <laughs> wandering back to the spaceship. Is it their spaceship? Is it your spaceship? Have you hijacked their spaceship? I think you've hijacked it. And they're really mad about it. 
not that mad because they're kind of sauntering. <laughs> kind of going for a nice walk. Oh, you did it. 5,000. Oh, sun's up again. Oh, oh, I think you have to make it to the top again. Oh, oh come on. Oh, it's very unfair, but luckily you get Extremely another chance. Extremely unfair. Okay, try not to bomb that guy and see what happens. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, that was good. Was it only one bonus? Yeah, I think so. Okay. This is the game. Really, really good graphics. Gameplay, very mm. limited. Very limited. There's two waves, and one wave lasts about 10 seconds. And the next wave lasts, like, minutes. Okay, we're done. I forgot to start the timer. <laughs> so, I don't know when this is supposed to end. Uh, next one is an actual game that's okay. It's Gorf. Yeah. Kathy Man 2D, I want to hang around for Vanguard and River Raid. Good thing I napped. Yes. <laughs> We're getting so close. So that was by Don Donyo Roughcorn. This is Gorf by CBS Gorf. Electronics. Oh, you love this game. M8776 by Joe Gother and Alex Levens. Restart it, maybe? Yes. Give it a good five minutes, because I know you like this one. So, this was recently redone by Champ yeah. Games. And you will see very quickly how good Champ Games version is, as opposed to this one. There is just nothing going on except for aliens coming down. There's no nice backgrounds. There is no... Oh my God, I'm die. You're pulling your shot, that's why. Uh, there's no uh, shield in this. Yeah. At all. Uh, there's... Oh my god, he comes right for you. Crazy. Gosh, they're really fast. Holy smokes. Oh, oh my, god. my god. That easy. Did I get it? I think I got it. No, <laughs> I didn't get it. Why <gasps> keep going into that? Oh no! because you have to get him while he's moving. There you go. Oof. I mean, it's okay version of it. It's a little flickery. And it's missing one of the levels, like we discussed. Oh, the, the last one? Uh, no, the... Um, the boss level? The Galaxian level. Oh. Because they weren't allowed to be licensed oh. for it. Oh, so it just goes straight to this one. Yeah. And these are kind of dive bombs, so you just have to hit that guy in the middle. It's non-destructive, as you can see. You just have to Come keep hitting. On. There you go. There you go. Good but job. But you can't destroy it. There's, it doesn't fall apart. There's no things shooting down. There's oh. no shield. It's very simplistic version of it. Oh, I gotta get the sides. Oh, stop it. The aliens are cute. But They're cute. Cute enough. It's just a very simplified version of Dwarf. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, John was motivated, <laughs> definitely. To, to make a new version to make of a, it. At least, like, to get the full five levels out nice. of this, right? This level's okay, but it doesn't have enough enemies. It's so right? hard. Is it? It doesn't not get worse than this? I uh, know. It really? gets faster, I think. Oh my god, it's already really fast. Nice. Oh, it comes back! Oh, faster. I don't think he's supposed to come back. Oh, oh god. I think so. Way worse looking and flicker than I thought, yeah. Like, why is that guy flickering? Why? What, what is the point of that guy flickering? He doesn't need to be. And you can't move up. Oh, could you? Yeah, you can move away from in it. In Gorf, in the actual Gorf. 
Okay. Your Let's... turn for a minute and a okay. half. Okay. I'm not very good at this game. It's not gonna last very long. <laughs> Gopherman says, never played on the 2600, only C64 and arcade. Limited as this is, I'm impressed of how much the game they managed to squeeze in. It's it's a fine version. I think they could have done more even back then, but they may have been limited by time. It's like, this one uh, came out December 3rd, 1982, which suggests maybe they were rushed for oh, Christmas, God. right? They're like, oh, we got you, got you, you got to get this out for Christmas. You have two months to make this game. Okay, I'll do all the basics. He comes back. That bastard. Oh, yeah. you can't sit in the corner. So it's almost pointless to get that guy first. It's better to get all the other guys. No, you know, you need to get this. Oh, you're right. Right? Don't concentrate on the laser dude. Because he comes back. Yeah. The other ones don't. Oh. You did it. I don't Actually like this level. This, am, this, this level I'm terrible at. I find this one the hardest level. It is the hardest. It's at least hard. they don't come around and smack into you oh. on this version. Yeah. I guess. Ah -ha! <laughs> Oh, shot the shot. I, you were much better at this level. You kind of like figure out exactly where to hit it right at the beginning. Ugh. You can do it. Make it to the Gorb ship. You kind of have to hit it earlier. You're yeah. screwed. You have to get good timing if. Uh... Oh, come on. No. Oh, I keep hitting his bullet. Nice. Nice. Ah! Oh, one life. Oh, I swear that hit him. <laughs> ah. Dead? Dead. Dead. Okay, good time. Whew. Next one is Wizard of War, the flicker-tastic version. Woo, flicker-tastic. So I believe this is two clips. Take your epilepsy medication. That's right. Look away from the screen <laughs> if you have problems with flicker. Aww. Okay, it's two Am I playing? Oh. I love Wizard of War. I love, I love this in the arcade. Ding, 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 ding. And another two in a row. That's funny that we have two in a row uh, done, redone by Champions. Yeah, he must. They were like released 82. on the same day. Flicker, 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 flicker. So flicker. flickery. No flicker management whatsoever. They're like meh. Oh, maybe there is a little bit of it actually. Oh, there is! Well, it's not really flicker management. They're just like, yeah, there's less of them, so we'll flicker less. Not, they didn't check if they're on you the same what? line You know what? They're kind of cute. Ah! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! <laughs> oh, panic I was attack. like, oh, he's going to get me. I was trying to turn around, but it wasn't turning around. Oh, well. the flicker! <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> Um, so there is friendly fire, so stay away from me. Is there? Yeah. Oh, I don't like friendly fire. Mm. Neither do I. It's not very friendly. Watch the radar. I am. <laughs> don't let him, you block off the left no, hand no, side. No, 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 I can't. I'll block off the right. Nice. Here comes a wizard, maybe. Nope, not yet. Way worse looking and flicker than I thought. Yeah, very chunky looking. Like the characters are very chunky. I can't come out of that. There we go. You kind of get stuck on corners a little bit. Too. Yeah, you do. Ah! Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. He got me. He got no, me. I got you. Ah! You did. Oh, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what? Getting fast and invisible. Oh my god, that guy almost killed me. Oh. oh I'm on my own now. One more. Get him. Come here. <laughs> Yay! Oh, the guys are black there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> The music is fine. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not a terrible version. Ah. Damn it. Oh, and... no. Boo. Time for one more. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> oh, one more. Some visible. Come on. Got him. No! As I say that, I'll let you get with those guys. Don't want to be in the line of fire here. Watch your, watch your radar. I know, I see him right there. there. Got him. Good. Ah! Thought he was further down. Annoying. Nice. Oh, wizard! Get him! Get him! Oh, I think, yeah. yeah! Double score dungeon! Double score dungeon! Oh! You don't get any of that. Small cartridge. No room for full screen text. Oh. God. Bad, 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 bad. But I did enjoy playing this back in the day. I did have this cartridge. And same with Gorf. I didn't have the cartridges, but... The 2600 I borrowed had these cartridges. Oh, oh, oh my god, he's so hard, he doesn't appear on the screen. Nice! Twice. Getting some high scores this round. Yeah. Whew. Triple the score I have. Yeah, I usually don't do that well in this game. Ah! That is it! Boys of War, the Flicker version. Next one is Fantastic Voyage. Which I have the cartridge for as well. Here's Boys of War. Here's Fantastic Voyage. By 20th Century Fox. All movie games. Uh, this is not what it looks like. What is this? That is an error. There we go. Okay, shoot everything, avoid the walls. And the only thing you don't shoot is What's the this stuff figure the eight. That's your health. <gasps> You're traveling through a body. You can avoid them. But you can shoot them as better. Well, you want points. So that I'll tell you what not to shoot, because that will decrease your health. But shoot everything right now. You have to avoid those. Or shoot them. Am I going through blood vessels? Yes, you are. They will constrict. <laughs> will they? Yes. Someone has some, uh, some cardiovascular problems. disease? You were sent in to help them. Uh, this was made by 20th Century Fox, December 10th, 1982, by David Lubar. 1108. 1108. Okay, might be coming up. Things not to shoot. Don't shoot those. These? Yeah. Just get... Because those are healthy cells. Ah. Healthy blood cells? Red blood cells? White, white blood cells? Red white blood, blood cells? cells? Red are usually smooth. Oh, okay. Kind of smooth. They have like a dimple sometimes in the middle. Mmm. Filled with good... Um, oxygen? Hemoglobin, hemoglobin and oxygen. Yeah. And iron. Oh! Oh, jeez. You have to avoid them. Ah! Oh, that wasn't good. No. <laughs> Your health has decreased. Oh no. Now there's a blockage coming up that you're going to have to shoot. It's a big, chunky blockage to open the artery again. Sounds terrible. <laughs> it's going to be tiny blockages, but shoot for the big one. The big one. Big, you'll see it. 
It's chunky. Okay, those are the tiny ones. They're hard to kill. Just go for the big one. Just avoid them. Easier said than done. You do get points for them, but... Uh, it's... They seem to require a lot of... Shoot it! Lots! Make it go slow. There you go. Keep shooting. Oh. You open up the artery! Yay! Disaster avoided! <laughs> for now. For now. Uh-oh. Level two. It's gone pink again. Somebody warned me to read the instructions because you will die quick if you don't. And it's just, that's pretty much it. You just don't shoot those one things. You can shoot everything those else. Little, those little cells? Yeah, because they're good cells. And then... The body dies if you start shooting them. Oh no! Yeah, you don't want that to happen. Uh, ah! Ah! Too, too fast. fast. Definitely too fast. don't want to do that. So you kind of zoom forward and then back off. Oh no, did I hit something good? No. Well, you're dying, so... Like, your ship dies, so that means your health goes bad. Don't shoot those. Don't do it. This is pretty cute. It is a cute game. Very good concept. Oh, no. Small. Oh. That is. I don't think I can let any of those pass. Looks like I do because right. they seem to be causing problems. It's really hard. Oh no. Now you're about to flatline. Am I? No, your heart rate's increasing. I don't know how to see what I'm getting through. Those are impossible. To shoot? Yeah. No, too tiny. <sighs> Flatline. Cool game, though. Very cool game. This is what happens in your body after playing fast food. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's a sequel. Sequel to fast food. Oh, that's great. This one I played the hell out of. When I was young, uh, Vanguard, December 12, 1982 by Atari, made by Dave Payne, CX2669, and it's an excellent conversion of the arcade, actually. Is it? Yeah. Oh, can you shoot in every direction? No. Yes. You can shoot all four directions. I missed one. Use what? Energy? Yes. You need it? Makes you invincible. <gasps> For a short period of time, plays nice little music. Cute. Great. Adventure music. Oh, they shoot. the button shoot. stops shooting. I don't know why you'd want to stop shooting, though. Oh. You just push the button once? Uh, you hold the button. Oh, okay. You don't see... Oh, you, go, you get to go a little faster, that's why. See if we can show all the levels all the way up to the, the boss dude. So, if you want to shoot up, you push up. If you want to shoot down, you push down, forward, etc. Um, it does get a lot harder. Mm. <laughs> this is seemingly easy, but because you can kind of fly in between the ships. Yeah, they shoot forward, right? They don't. 
Then you get oh, to the next stage. Turn the corner. Yes. Oh, so, pretty. Oh my it's goodness. It's a game in multiple directions. Now this one you have to shoot sideways because they're coming out at you. Sometimes they'll come straight out at you like that. Neat. I love the rainbow. Beautiful yeah. colors. Some of these games, really, really nice looking. Well, that is just for the color. 2600 strength is the huge amount of colors it yeah. has. 128 colors. Now they're getting tough. I feel like you're um, traveling down an argyle uh, <laughs> pathway here. Yeah. Kind of like half argyle. Someone's destroyed it. And this has probably the most memorable commercial yeah. of any 2600. Some kids playing in the basement, playing this game. Yeah. And then they get to the boss, and it's like one of their, like their older brothers standing around. Oh yeah. And they give the game, the controller to their older brother at the end. Yeah. The older brother's like super super dumb. Yeah. Uh, or he's portrayed to be super dumb, and I can't. I had it written down what they said. Okay. Um, but they say, oh, what's his face always defeats the boss. Oh. But the boss is the easiest thing in this game. It's the easiest, is easiest it really? level. <laughs> You'll yeah. see when I get to it. And they're like kind of belittling the brother. Yeah, they're making by saying, fun. By saying that, oh, he does it. But uh, the brother's like really happy to do it. <laughs> Cute. Oh, these guys jump around. Neat. Yeah, they're like Red Baron planes, like World War I planes. Bounce around, jumping up and down. I thought it was just the greatest graphics. Luther and fights the Gon. Luther Man, fights the Gon. says, yeah. yeah. Almost there. I think this is the second to last one. And then you have another, another and the um, boss. horizontal. Or was there another horizontal? Uh, I don't know. Is okay. there? I don't know. I missed the. I wasn't looking at the maze. These remind me of those chewy mints. <laughs> Mentos. They're oh, kind of yeah. mint. I feel like you're in a field of Mentos, and I'm Maybe. craving mint right now. Oh, we have some mints. So upstairs. between the Doritos and the Mentos, it's a it's a candy oh, and God. fast food filled day. Oh no, oh. one more level. Yeah. Before oh. the boss. <gasps> oh, this one is uh, a lot more challenging because I didn't get that E. You did. <gasps> Damn it! No, I didn't. Uh, I'll go this way. I probably want to get the in that case. <gasps> go. Yeah, you do want to get the E. Go this way. Oh god. You just have to get behind it. Yeah. This one is definitely the hardest level. Yeah, it's a lot more maneuvering, eh? Oh god. I think it only gives you baddies on the path you take, though. It <laughs> like, does. Like, no matter what? Yeah, it's only putting I'll them wait, where, wait, wherever I'll... you're going. <laughs> yes. Well, because it has to, right? Because, um, no, I'm going to nope. play the boss. <laughs> because it can't do it on both sides. That's right? true. <gasps> oh. No. No. <laughs> Do I have to make it all the way to the countdown? I don't know. Oh, you oh went too God. far forward. Oh, oh it started no, over. Oh, no, no. I feel like you're so close. Yeah. What? Went right through him. Oh, no, that countdown. Is this the end? For... No. No. Not <gasps> oh, oh, no. Continue. What? Is this the Did first it? game that has a continue? Oh. Wow, that's awesome. First continue I've seen. Yeah. At least I've seen. You've seen I them all, but... I haven't seen a continue. Interesting. That's a very arcade kind of that thing. That is. Very smart. That's probably why I like the game. So like, oh, yeah, keep you can keep... Yeah. Are we at the boss yet? Oh, not quite. What are those? They're coming what up from the bottom. Like? Shrimp Worm? nematode things? <laughs> yuck. <laughs> very yuck. Don't let them uh, burrow, the, burrow into you. Oh. <laughs> I always thought they were gross too. Ah, oh, he captured you. How, how come oh, I, got I don't like for that. that. I don't know. Why did I get points for that? I don't know. Well, you killed him in the end, maybe. Oh my god. Oh my 
God. What? I crashed into the... I'm staying way down here. Yeah. You have to avoid the shrapnel after you kill oh. them. Oh. Yep, be careful. Stay to the side. Don't shoot them straight on. It's been so long since I've played this. Like, yeah. Like 40 years. Like <laughs> literally. Really? Years. Oh. Yeah. Or maybe... It... That's it. What? That was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the boss. Oh, you can touch the snakes up to three times for points. Interesting. That literally, that's, you. J he just dies. You shoot him and he dies. Okay, River Raid. We're going to reset the timer. That's fine. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Nope. It's very colorful, though. My pal version of River Raid? What is going on? River Raid. Why do you betray me? There's a River Raid uh, Zellers over there. Is there? Yeah, right over there. There's the River Raid Zellers. Zellers there River Raid. There we go. Official. Reset the clock. Um, oh, come on. River Raid, made by Carol Shaw. December 18th, 1982. Just in time for Christmas. AX020. It's our second to last game. Oh my god. Penultimate, you gotta shoot him way further ahead than that. No! Don't shoot the fuel. Well, you can sometimes shoot the fuel. Luther. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's what Luther does say <laughs> when he shoots the boss. Cafe Man 2D, my number one favorite 2600 game. I'm guessing you're referring to River Raid. <laughs> there were so... Oh, I haven't been announcing these alternate names. This one has the most alternate names of any of the games that I know of. River Raid 3, River Raid 2. Why they named them that for other versions, I have no idea. Oh, you, oh, I'm... Uh, Bermuda, Ground Zero, Harbor Escape, and Persian Gulf War. Persian Gulf War? Yeah. Oh my I'm goodness. guessing some of those are hacks, like they change up. the colors. Mm. Reset, please. Not great. Not great. We've played this many times. Though. Oh, yeah. I always find it takes me a little while to get back into it. It's a good game. We're using the staring shot. I guess I could just shoot everything. my tracked website says there's an update. Oh, fancy. I'm three uh, three updates behind on my retro tank. I need to update that soon. Mm. Not that it's misbehaving, but there might be some cool things. Yeah. That I can uh, you want the cool things. make it look a little bit better. Mm. You're getting low. Slow right down for the fuel. Oh, oh caught you with my wing. This one was pretty easy to get the patch on, if I remember yes, correctly. Yes, yeah. I, it took a little bit of practice, but you got bit. there. Yeah. Because it is not immediate. You have to fly for quite a bit. I think I got close, and I didn't quite make it. Yeah. Because we were playing, and I was getting re really frustrated by the end, because I was just shy. You know, when you're just shy, if yeah. I if I recall with this one. Are you frustrated with a Me? Game? Never. No. Never get frustrated with games. Oh, no. I didn't leave myself enough room. Sherlock Hot says River Raid was my father's favorite game. It yeah. is an awesome shooter. Yes. Like, like it is a great little so game. There's so much going on. Yeah. There's things going horizontally. There's not things vertically, but there's a lot. Oh. <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah. Okay, you get another go. Me. Welcome, Sherlock Hot. Thanks for joining us. We'll have to hit fire right at the end of refueling. Yes, right at the end of refueling, so you get the points for it. So you get all the fuel. Yeah, like that. And you get the points. I like doing that too. Good job. Speed up! The fact that you can speed up and slow down and there's bridges to hit and there's stuff on the side and there's roadways. It's just really good graphics, great gameplay, a lot of dynamic. 
things going on. <laughs> um, oh. It is the same pattern each time. Like exactly the it same is. pattern. It is. So if you've memorized it and you have a nice path, yeah. you can see that being... But it still see, feels very, very dynamic, even though it is the same pattern. Because it's just it keeps going and going and going forever. I guess it repeats, or is it on some, it's on some sort of like pitfall type loop? Where it's just a um, a formula for the pattern. Captain Man 2D says, "I was in ninth grade when this came out. All in 4K. Yeah, this is what Activision is able to put into 4K is unbelievable." 30 seconds left. Can I have one more shot? Yeah, it's going to be a short, uh, short one game. Oof, hair in my face. it for River Raid. And we're on to our last game, which is an Imagic game. The only one we Ooh. played today, actually. Oh, really? Yep. We only played two Activision games. Wow, not a lot. And uh, one Imagic. But this one, ah, wor right. worth the wait? It is, thankfully. Not going and out it's on got a, a really cool cartridge. Not going on on a bad note. You have played this. So... It's hard. <laughs> get all the stuff, avoid the fireballs, get all the treasure. Very good graphics. I think the colors are <gasps> off. Maybe the colors are a bit weird. What else do I have to do? Oh, uh, those Get things. all the treasure. You can hide in there, but you don't need to. Yeah, the colors are wonky. One second. That's worse. Even wonkier. Oh, I think this is... Comes. Better? Oh. Ah. <laughs> that is the funniest thing when he jumps in the air and gets hit by the fireball. I think this is better. Oh, it looks the same to me. Uh, maybe it's the same. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> Stop it! So, Dragonfire by Magic, December 25th, 1982, Bob Smith, uh, also known as Dragon Treasure and King Arthur. Maybe the colors are just crazy. Many brilliant programs at Activision and Magic. Um, yes, I agree, Charles Whelan. It doesn't really repeat. Pete, it's a formula. Okay, but it starts with a seed and then just keeps going. Run! <sighs> now we did try and get a patch score in this game. It is also another. <gasps> no! Stay up at the top. <sighs> I left, but I left to the left. That's what killed me. It looks great. How do you... Okay, down and jump. Yeah. Down again. There. There's a pattern. It's very fast at running in here. Yeah, well, when, you, when you're a treasure hunter. And then when you get at the high, high levels, you just do a figure eight at... Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. Just do a figure eight at the top. Come on. Oh my god, he trips on the mic. <laughs> All right, good night, Cafe Man. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good night, Cafe Man. Yeah, I might as well do the figure eight while I'm starting. Okay, you stay away from him so he doesn't throw fireballs all over the screen. Oh my god. I think that's what mo mostly killed me, is this outside <laughs> this level. This part I had no problem with. <laughs> Because if you're not below him, he doesn't spit the fireballs. So you yeah, want or to in line keep, with him, you mean. Yeah, in line with him. So you want to keep away from him, do figure eights, and grabbing them as you do the figure eights. I love... Oh! oh you have to get closer before you duck, I find. Yeah. See? Yeah. The figure eight does work. I remember us. Talking trying, about that. Trying to It's get... about going back and forth, though. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and down, down, down. There we go. Out of there. Ah! 
Ah. <gasps> oh, he gets you right when you come out sometimes. Me? Yeah. Duck. <laughs> oh, oh, hit in the head. Oh. Oh my <laughs> god. I was doing so much better last time. My timing is off now. Oh. Nope, too close to the dragon. I'm dead already. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, I just I kept dying. guy left. No, I don't. Oh, I just was... Dude. Hiding in the little uh, hut there. Which you can hide in, but it's pointless. I, yeah. I've never... Like, I watched some videos on it. Nobody hides in the hut. <laughs> up, up, up! There we go. And magic patch scores are ridiculously high. Like, unbelievably high. They really did not want to give out the patches at a magic. All right. Is this our last one? Yep, this is the last one. You play till uh, you lose your life. Yeah. Did I get an extra life? Um, uh, I think it's pretty stingy with the extra lives. No, I thought I, I have. I thought I was dead. You have one dead. left. Oh, yeah, maybe you did. Whoa. <gasps> oh, that was too. Now you're, oh, oh, you died immediately right. again. I think you just got an extra life and then you died again. Yeah. <sighs> so we made it good, through good game. 1980. Like game. So we made it through 1982. Is that we all of 1982? Yep. Wow. That was December 25th. Oh, that was a lot of By games. Bob Smith. 720-02-1A. How many? 100 and what? For all of 1982, uh, it was about 37. 115 each day, 100, yeah, something like that. Over 100, yeah. That's a lot. So we're about 200 in now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. About we're getting there. Halfway through ish. Almost. Yep. Almost halfway. Yep. Um, it was a good batch of games today. It was. Um, weren't so too many stinkers in there. I like Vanguard. A little too simple, but I like Vanguard. I like River Raids really good. Fantastic Voyage was uh, surprising, actually. Um, that was pretty fun. I played it before the show. You played the I liked it. Yeah, that was fun. Wizard of War is good, but the flicker is too much. much. Obviously, Champ Games version is better. Gorf is uh, very simplistic, this version. Champ Games is way, way, way better. Um, I, I can see Spider-Man getting good, but it's a really hard ramp up. Uh, one day we'll have to play Dragon Stomper, <laughs> the RPG. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Sky Jinx is fun, but a simple game. Yeah. Dark Caverns, awesome. That's pretty fun. Mm. How do you th what do you think of Coconuts? Was that great? <laughs> it's terrible. It looks uh, like the graphics, graphics were, were amazing. Were good, but Alien was surprisingly good. I just yeah. love the what do you not the face what do you call those things oh uh, the uh, xenomorphs the xenomorphs yeah were, they were really pretty awesome graphics. for a little pac-man xenomorph game yeah i quite enjoyed that actually. turmoil's great action yeah um yeah you'd like to alien uh, surprisingly it was amadar cute. what do you think of amadar you like that amadar? One? What, that was, was making that? the boxes oh that was a cute game yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. there were a lot of decent games in this batch yeah. all of them a lot of them were pretty fun to play uh, i think that's the top yeah of my uh what did I really like? Uh, actually, Fantastic Voyage. I would play more of that. Yeah. That was fun. It had a lot going on. And fast food was fun, too, even though it's extremely simple. I just Very think it's really cute. Simple. All those little graphics are really cute. So Probably yeah. Turmoil. Added all these? Yeah. Probably Turmoil mm. uh, is probably my favorite one. I yeah. think. I don't know. There were, there were a lot of good games, actually. Yeah. Fantastic Voyage is pretty good, because it's like a nice shooter. Yeah, and it's it it's changes up. Variety. It, variety in the levels, and like lots going on. I love really getting good. to see the weird third-party games, except Custer, which is <laughs> horrid. It is. It's oh, bad. Oh, you're just like, oh. It's bad on all levels, oh, oh, no matter what the levels are. It's just bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so my top pick yeah. was Turmoil. I think. What was your top pick? Uh, Did you pick pick one? Pick one, one game. I'm gonna say Fantastic Voyage. Yeah. I've never played it before, and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, 
trying to think if any of the other ones like stood out at me, but I quite like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. Um, that cat's just crying. Just constantly crying. <laughs> And he's fine. He's, he's he's just an attention seeker. And he's like, why aren't you upstairs? Meow, 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 yeah. meow, meow. So, um, I've got some more things Set up? scheduled. Okay. So, we might as well go over that really quick. Yep. Um, so, next Tuesday, the Atari Age forums are going down. Uh, okay. Transitioning to a bo new version of it. So they'll be down all Tuesday. So I thought, uh, and somebody said, oh, you should do something special while they're down. <laughs> and I'm like, uh. And somebody, and somebody <laughs> suggested, do play every single 7800 game. And I'm like, I already have that schedule for 20, yes. 2026, actually. That's a little um, So I thought, oh, well, maybe I will do something, but something not crazy, something I don't okay. need to set up. Okay. So I thought, oh, I'm going to, yeah, we're, we're done with that. Don't need that. Yeah. Um, uh, something I've been meaning to do for a long time uh, is get back my wall jump ninja world oh, record. Oh, so yeah. So I'm going to be doing that at 1 p.m. by myself. Oh, okay, okay. Just flipping it on for just playing. Okay. Just over and over and over again. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me look up the uh, world record just so you should you can see it. Kittens. Can, can you grab that cat? <laughs> Don't He's know. so That's, silly. What are you, what's wrong? Where are you? Why are you, why are you crying in the bedroom? <laughs> why did you cry alone in the bedroom? Oh, it's so sad. See, here's the high scores. Uh, I have 67. I did have the world record. Okay. And then Arrowhead from Edmonton beat okay. me by two. I just have to interrupt you. Yes. He has yeah. crawled. He has crawled. Yes. Under the covers of our bed. <laughs> <laughs> and he's under the covers fully, and he's crying because I don't think he knows how oh, to do that. Oh, baby cat. Oh, my goodness. Did you let him out? Not yet. Oh. I just, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Oh, no wonder he's been... Oh, yeah. Be right back. Rescuing him. Poor kitties. Poor, poor kitties. Oh, he's down here. James, he's down here. Save the cat. We're he's playing our own video game. Save the cat. He fell down here. Oh, is he? He's still in the He's not under the covers. He's in the comforter. Like he crawled in through, like they, they button up. So there's like a button, kind of a gap, a button, kind of a gap. So somehow he crawled in through the gap between the buttons and then he couldn't find his way out. I don't know how he got in there. Come here. How did you even get in there? Come here, little baby. Come here. Come on, come on, come on camera. Oh, kitties. Poor baby. <laughs> I've never heard. There he is. Oh, poor he, crying cat. Because the bottom of the comforter is just, there's, you know, you put the the comforter in the cover. Yeah. And he somehow got between the cover and the comforter. Yeah, inside. And he must have crawled up. Oh, where, jeez, where, cat adventure. Like, oh, look at him. Oh. That's right. You can't. You can't. Oh, you can see you can him a see little him. bit. Yeah. Kitten, how did you do that? Oh, he's so sad. I was like, the door's open. The, Why is he crying? Like sometimes he gets. We'll close the door on him, and you'll hear him cry to get out. Because he sneaks in. He was like in crawling around in the <laughs> comforter, and he couldn't get out again. Poor baby. <laughs> you. Okay, so I have to be. Sorry. <laughs> so I have to get seventy or higher for the world record. So I'm going to try for that next okay. uh, Tuesday. Nice. Um, I don't know what we're going to play on Friday. 
I'm going to have to see if there's any games, and if there is no games that I want to play, we're just going to do straight more of this okay. with Darcy. Okay, fair enough. Um, so we'll see if there's some games I want to play for the 2600, 7800, Jaguar, 8-bit. We'll see. Yeah, But summer is very low time for programmers. Not a lot of people releasing Not a stuff. lot of development. Yeah, that's fine. There's, there's bits. There's a lot of updates happening. We have 450 Atari games to play, so... We have to get through them. Yeah, we do. We so do. that might be for Friday. Okay. We'll see. More games, yeah. It's likely, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Um, so, oh, yeah. And here's the stack of Zeller games. I don't know if you saw them all at once. Oh, can you hold these? Sorry. I have to switch it back because they're there tiny. We there we go. There we go. There are they all, all at once. So, yeah, Very nice. th these I just picked up uh, for a dollar each at like Value Village. Way back when, yeah. In the mid 90s. Wow. I thought, oh, they're weird. At first, I thought they were just pirated Games? cartridges and yeah. I didn't pick them up. Then I thought, oh, they're kind of cool. I'll get them anyway. Oh. So, a lot of them have. Very, yeah, very specific style of art. Yeah, so I have about. 75% of them. So Really? I might go for the rest of them. Try to find more, unless yeah. Unless the rest of them are like really expensive. Yeah. Like, oh, that it's... one's super rare. It's a $200. dollars like, yeah, no, forget, forget that. it. Yeah. If they're like $10 or something, it's like, okay, yeah. sure, I'll get the rest of them. Oh, that's they're cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, so we're done for now. And uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. Ciao, Sidani Mao. Yeah. Go for man. Dan AVC, Caffman 2D, Charles Wheeland, M. Souza 3D, uh, Sherlock Hot, all these new names. Yes. Wonderful. Uh, Colonel Lama, uh, Dan AVC, Trey Guy, Metal Lunar 7. Who else? Tar 2600 Dude, uh, Vitoko, BR Pocock. Yeah. Thank you for feeding the kitties. Yes, Yorgi's Castle, Nostalgic, and everybody else who watched. So yes. we will be back on Friday, so have a good week, and uh, pray for our little black cat, because oh, he's, he's he, a bad He gets bad into kitty. trouble. He does, that yeah. he can't get himself out of, because he's a little adventurous cat. Yeah. It was a pleasure feeding the yes, cats during the X-rated games. games. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. How did you do that? I don't know how you even got in there. Lesson learned. <laughs> you, he'll probably be back there we'll in a couple hours. We'll see if it's hours. a lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, we're out of here, and we will see you on Friday. Bye, yeah. everyone.